Horror. There we go. Get a little bit of Minecraft music going. There we go. Hello, gamers. How's it going today? How am I today? I am... EP. But that's okay. I'm EP, but I'll live. Have I had my injection of coffee yet? No, I haven't actually had any caffeine today. Well, I had... Uh, she decided to go uh, grab lunch today because I was too lazy to make lunch. And I did actually indulge in a, in a, in a little soda while I was out there. What? Thank you for the delicious member chips. And Lintendo. Lintendo. Nice chips. Yum, 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 yum. Wow, soda. Scandalous. But now I will have an energy potion because I've decided it's time. I've decided it's time. I need an energy potion. I need a stamina potion. I need maybe a combination of the two. Maybe I'll mix them together and see what that does for me. Let's find out, shall we? Let us see what that ends up doing to, to my body on the internal side of things. Uh, Heart palpitations, my old friend. I come again once to your doorstep, say hello. Allow me to have a, a, a step inside that I might see your old parlor and remember what it was like to flirt with death. <laughs> Silender. Thanks for being an axle. Anyway. Uh, five hours of insomnia. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's a regular day. <laughs> ah, man. All right. So how's everybody doing today? We're going to be playing a little bit of Minecraft. I'm going to try and get my energy levels back up as we get there. I uh, I took I took a little a little a little blink, a little a little napping blink if you would. A very short blink, but a nice one. But now I am a little drowsy as I was getting into the deep blinks right before I got up to do this stream. Uh, but no worries, I am full of uh, raw energy and rage, and it won't take me long to remember my hate-fueled destiny. And I will carry that forward and use it to, to uh, I don't know, craft some mines or mine some crafts or whatever. EP as well? That's not good. Get un EP, Fur Tree. Almost had caffeine headache today, but I'm good now. Have more caffeine, it's the only way to fix it. Shade says, fuel hate blinks. It's true. It's true. Samben, Ruse live. Yippee. I'm live. I'm here. Uh, live from the Ruse studio audience. It's Crimson Ruse. Lean Tindo. Thank you for the delicious coffee, question mark. Let's get right into it. So, last time we played Minecraft, I was working on the Criminal's Cut. We have mostly finished it. Had a horrible work week. Happy to end the Friday with a roost stream. Fuck yeah, Raven Revenant. Congratulations. Remember, every horrible week is just the backdrop that makes the wonderful weeks and the times that matter even nicer. You would not know your good days without the bad days. So, you suffered it. You took your medicine. It's all sugar from here. All right. So, uh... Game? Minecraft Doko? My, huh? Minecraft? 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 My. Okay, hold on. So last time we were playing Minecraft, we uh, went ahead and did the... We finished most of, if not what I would say, all of... The Criminal's Cut, which is great. I'll show you around a little bit, and then we'll get started on our next project once we decide what our next project is. Sander says, hey, Ruse and Chat, just want to self brag because I finally got an item in this MMO I've been playing that has a 0.0005% drop rate from two specific mobs. Two years of suffering finally finished, and now, now you could finally put down that MMO. You never have to play it ever again. 
<laughs> no, that's awesome. Congratulations. I love MMOs with really low drop rates on stuff like that, as long as it's not something that's, like, there to eke out more money from you. If it's the type of thing where it's, like, uh, when you get it, you know that you're, like, you're the most badass person on that server. You know what I mean? Like, you're the one with the dedication to make it happen. Congratulations, and thanks for the soup. All right, I'm going to get a long chug of this. One sec. Nom, 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 nom. I remember once the rarest thing I've ever gotten in an MMO wasn't actually in an MMO. The rarest thing I ever procured for an MMO was a uh, giant rooster mount for World of Warcraft that you could only get by playing the World of Warcraft TCG finding that very rare card and then using the code in game. And I regret that I used the code in game still because it was near the tail end of me giving a shit about playing WoW. I held onto the card for a long time and then finally I was like, ah, fuck it. What am I ever gonna do with this card? And I used the code and I like probably played WoW for maybe six more months after that. And then I didn't touch my account and I'm like, oh man, I could have sold that card for like $4,000 or something, maybe 5,000. Oh well, uh, just finished my morning shift at work on a Saturday. Glad to see we're back in the uh, back in the mines to quaff. Yup. I would have bought it and ate it. Yeah, I did get a cool chicken. I did get a cool chicken. That's true. I did have a Pokemon cards. Brutal. Time to sell the account. I don't think Blizzard would like me saying that it's time for me to sell the account. But if I don't say it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking, Blizzard. Please! Please! No! No, it was a prank! It was a prank! Don't do it! Blizzard! I didn't mean it! Ah! I'm just kidding. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I thought something was off. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you around the uh, tavern. That's right. Here, hold on. Let me uh, let me get outside and make sure there's nothing super dangerous out here first. Uh-oh, it's a rainy day. That means anything could happen. I might get a Queeper. Thank you for fighting uh, Bwizawad for me, Orangemaru. And welcome back to being a Rusader for two whole months. All right, so check it out. Ignore that. That's not going to be there forever. I'm going to make a stable at some point. I don't know if that's what I'm doing today or not. This is our bridge. Ignore this bridge. I'm going to make it better. I might do that today. We'll see. There's a lot of projects I could do. I do mean a lot. Here's the criminal's cut from the outside. Not bad, right? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. I like the roof. I like the outside. I could maybe do it like a little more decoration right here or something. Maybe I put like a little support beam or some shit. But on the other hand, I'm also lazy. Uh, and then I would have to do it on the inside and on top and... Blah, 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 blah. Maybe I put like some stuff on the outside here. Like a couple signs that I have no intention of writing on. I guess it would look sort of like it's buckling the building together. What's that look like? No, because then I'd have to do here, here, here. Which I mean, I do have enough signs to do. I could see what that looks like. Buckling, you say? One, two, buckle. Sorry. You know, that's not awful, but it does defeat the Waddle and Dob feel. Oh, that's right. I was going to do a Waddle and Dob feel. You guys forgot to remind me. I never did figure out how I was going to communicate that. Like, it's kind of communicated in a way, but it doesn't have the crisscross um, sort of X-shaped wood that really sells that look, does it? That's a bummer. Oh, well. Perfect. Cran taste yums. Make red. Hey, don't pop your pants there, champ. Chill out. Relax. Stop eating your crayons. Okay, well, maybe we won't do that. Um, hmm. Oh, well, I'll figure that out later. I I'm not too worried about it. Right now, I'm pretty satisfied with what I've built. Uh, but I'll give you a little tour. So. There's the outside. This is the little balcony from underneath. That's the woof. That's the other part of the woof. 
Um, these are little support beam pillars and our sort of entryway courtyard, whatever you want to call it, sort of like a little rug. And then we've got the actual, oh man, look at that from the outside. Wow. Wow. Oh, your voice is like a song. Oh, so charming and quaint and child. Anyway, I step inside. I do not want to do that with an ax out because I might accidentally shred my hood. And then look at this. Look what we got going on. Bam, we got a little carpet to greet us. We come in, there's a stage right here where you can do your little karaoke's. You can put in a little uh, music disc if you want. Hi, Roos! Happy however fucking many months. It's been two months, hellish. Uh, the criminal's cut's looking real nice. And that's not just my EP talking, fuck yeah! We've got our little tables where you can get served. We got our two people table. We got our two people table. We got our three people table. This is the table where you stand and look longingly out to the seaside. Once the cows are gone, where you stand and look longingly out to the seaside, waiting for your dead husband to return, except he's never going to return because this here is the widow's window and you just wait and wait. Or, or when the widows haven't booked it on Tuesdays, sometimes on Thursdays, uh, when they're back from being real stinky and gross out in the wilderness and I don't know, like, pissing on bears or whatever, uh, really mysterious strangers in cloaks will stand at this table and smoke a pipe. Because you gotta smoke by the window. Otherwise, it's very rude. You gotta make sure you're smoking where there's air. Um, they got, so they'll smoke their pipe by the window and kind of gaze distantly outside and not make eye contact with anybody else in the tavern. Mm. Mm. Anyway, this is our fire pit. This is where my dogs are right now. It's not where the dogs are gonna stay. Uh, that is a chest. I'm probably gonna leave that there. I think it's kind of, I think it looks kind of nice. It kind of gives it like a cool vibe as if maybe that's where the, or maybe I'll put like logs here or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Uh, hi dogs. It'd be funny to put an unlit campfire right there actually. As if that was a stack of, can I put a couple, can I put unlit campfires on top of each other? Probably not. Uh, anyway, this is our little bar area. These are our little itty bitty bar stool seats. Um, they're pretty nice. This is mostly just shelving. It houses a single flower in a couple upper cabinets at the moment, which are more like upper storage. Um, and another window that looks out to that boring ass wall, which I might one day crack down so that it's not a boring wall. Uh, 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 uh. But I can't crack it down too much because when you enter the back area right here, this is the way up toward the, the rooms, the guest rooms and the master bedroom and the attic. And this is the way down to the storage basement which at first looks boring and, and gray and dull, and then, ba bow What the fuck? Maybe this is some sort of minor shrine or something that the person who owns the, uh, owns the, the tavern worships at? I don't know. I haven't decided. Maybe it's just storage. Who knows? But, ba bow Anyway. Wait, did my music die? Oh, no, it's going. Okay. Your psychedelic basement to listen to lo-fi music in? Probably on a... I, I, I assume the person who owns a place called The Criminal's Cut that is for serving random criminals out in the Badlands. God, you, you, they've got to be the type of person to sit down in the basement, right? And just kind of, like, pop on some headphones and light enough torches to make this place really, really sparkly and shiny and then maybe just buy and or trip with lo-fi. Uh, anyway... This doesn't need to be here. I might move it at some point, but I thought it looked kind of like a serving table of some sort. It's actually a cartography table, and I was using it to make maps when I thought I was going to map this area out, but then I got lazy, uh, which I might do that today too, actually. This is our little food storage area, and by food storage, I mean my everything storage. It might one day be food storage, but right now it stores everything. Um, nice building, Tensai. Adonan? How'd you get in here? What the hell is a verdant frog light? What's a frog light? Oh, very cool. I'm glad I visited and saw it. <laughs> nice. I wonder, did he... Wait, but that had stuff in it. Oh, it was all my monster stuff. Thanks, Ardenan Senpai. <laughs> wow, bread too? What do these do? What's a frog light? Huh. Cool. Very cool. That's exciting. Wow, someone naturally found the criminal's cut. How does that even happen? How do you how do you naturally find this place? In what world do you stumble like backwards into this place of all places? I wonder if he went to the attic. 
or made his own room? Probably not. Where'd Gerard's room go? Oh, that's here. The, the, the sign's just dead. Well, that's fine. Being lost, they emit light. Oh. Octavius' boat is still here. Well, as a very serious and very tough bounty hunter, uh, I would never uh, sit here and dally inside of a random fucking boat and paddle around a tavern room because I'm not a child. Ooh. Oh, I seem to have gotten turned around. Oh, where am I? Oh, ooh. which way? Wait, which way was the? Oh, oh, huh. Oh, that's weird. There happens to be a boat here. I guess nobody's looking. <laughs> oh, oh, well, anyway, uh, sorry, something. Oh, okay. For a second there, I think the stream cut out, but we're all good. Everything's fine. Uh, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, these are the guest rooms. This is Gerard's shitty room. He's done nothing with it. And for some reason put his bed in such a way that he just has like a single square on the side of a window. So it's some sort of weird fucking, I don't know, like, uh, uh, vampiric, uh, um, I don't, e evil hag monster could float up by the window and reach in and stroke his hair at night or something. Uh, so that's Octavio's room slash Octavio's piss slash poop corner. Lean Tindo! Thank you for the delicious, delicious memberships. Um, this is nothing yet, and nothing yet. So we've got a couple rooms available for rent, and I will figure that out at some point. This is currently the room I'm renting out at the Criminal's Cut, and the attic is probably where the owner lives, or maybe the owner lives here. I don't know, but for now, I live here because the owner is not in Minecraft, and I rebuilt this painstakingly. So in Minecraft, I own this tavern, I've decided. Uh, I need to put some flowers on these little shelves here. Or something something cool uh maybe i put i could put paintings up i don't remember how to make paintings but that could be fun anyway this is the attic i'm eventually gonna do something with it i don't know what i will probably work on the rest of decorating this place off stream so i could show you on stream so there's something new to look at but i really want to get to work on a new project i'm itching to do a new project so that's probably what i'm going to be doing do i have a room for pee poco mama pee poco mama and uh Kefi papa of course are always allowed to stay for free in the criminal's cut they can stay on my bounty hunter dime. I will pay for them. It's fine. You know, I buy room and board and dinner for my mama. Let's get a nap in and then we'll decide what we're going to do today, huh? I am not a mama's boy. How dare you? How dost you? As my mama might say, how darest you? Okay, let's put away all of our extra garbage because we do have a lot of extra garbage. Potato. Oh, I baked potatoes. I have too many baked potatoes. What am I going to do with all these baked potatoes? <gasps> Sorry, uh, I panicked for a second again. Um, hmm. Why do I have sugar in here? I'm gonna put, well, it is food. It's more of a food, and, and leather is less. Yeah, we'll take the leather and the sugar out. And I'll put my cookies in. Bunny hugger, 410. Thanks for being an axle. Are you a papa's boy, says Anna. No! I'm a nobody's boy. I'm a I'm a ruse boy. I'm my own boy. Oh, I have a bunch of arrows and a, a bow. A bow. Bring that with me. Oh, and I have golden apples. Golden apples. We'll put them up here for now. Um, uh, this is supposed to be my monster chest. It's where I'm gonna put my leather for now because leather is uh not hard to come by, but sometimes annoying to come by. And then this is my old equipment chest. It is where I will put my shears and where I'm going to put my lava bucket and where I'm going to put my... I'll keep my shovel on me because I can use the tools. I'll put the hoe. I'll put the hoe outside by the garden. 
Um, oh, I got more red wool. That's right. <gasps> so I can make more carpet later. Yay! I forgot I stole that. I don't remember who I stole that from. I think it was Gerard. Uh, and then I stole a bunch of iron from somebody too. And I think that was maybe also Gerard. When I was going to drop some stuff off for my for, for Octavio, I stole a bunch of shit from Gerard because I thought it would be funny. Uh, and I was right. It was funny. Holy fuck, I have a lot of baked potatoes. They'll run out quick. It's okay. Um, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with these fireworks. I can no longer store them in my ender chest because I destroyed my ender chest, which also means I have inherently limited trips back and forth to the Tempest HQ area until I get a hold of another ender chest. So it's going to be a bit before I go back there. Um, okay, so we're going to bring our bow. We're going to bring a few arrows. Not too many. We'll bring a shovel as tools. We'll put the shears away. Again, I have so many shears for some reason. I've got sticks. I don't need that many sticks. I'll bring this. I'll drop these off somewhere. I'll bring these as backup food, and I will drop off my andesite right here. So I've cleaned out my inventory, and I think I'm just about ready to get moving. Um, I'm missing a sword. I have an axe. I have a pickaxe. I have a shovel. I guess that's all I need. All right, let's get out there. I'm going to make myself an iron pickaxe one more time, and then we'll get moving, and we'll go figure out what we want to do next, yeah? Maybe I'll make an iron pickaxe, and I'll make an iron axe just in case, because we don't want to... We do not want to find ourselves toolless, and I don't want to overuse my main uh, Zephyr axe, because I feel like that is a recipe for disaster. Bunny Hugger says, I had to basically uh, manually renew my membership because money stuff. Having a lot of baked potato potatoes equals having plenty of food, which is good. I agree. That is good. It's just a lot of shit in my inventory that I don't want to deal with. Um, Heidi Lee! Thanks for being an actual. Okay. Now we're organized and ready to go. Let's do this. Let's go figure out what our next project shall be. Uh, Project number one. I just figured it out. I just figured it out. I know what it's going to be. Wake up! Mm -mm -mm. Yum, 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 yum. No, eat the bones, 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 eat the bones. You're not eating the bones. Why aren't you eating the bones? Eat the bones. Guys, eat the bones. Guys? Mm. All right, wait there. I'll be back. Hmm. Will you guys eat the flesh? Eat be sleepy watching Ruse. God killer Ruse. That's what you meant to say, right? All right, sit your little asses down. You too, little puppy. Don't be weird. Good dogs. Okay, so step one done. We have found a very good use for our uh, for our rotten flesh going forward. So, hey, we have a reason to hold on to our delicious rotten flesh. Yay! All right, let's get out here. Gentlemen! So... One thing I haven't gotten a chance to do is take out my beautiful... Ooh, thank you for the gifted member chips. Um, yum, yum, yum. One thing I have not gotten the chance to do is take out my beautiful horses and go and explore the landscape a bit. So what I could do is I could do a little bit of horse exploration. Some horse exploration, if you would. Um, and see if there's any trouble to get up to out there. Huh? 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 
Hey, oh, why is this song so boom? Yeah. Wow, so majestic. That running animation, fucking good. Uh, what is the name of this horse? This horse has no name. He is the horse without a name. What a thrill. So one thing I was thinking about doing was making a road that led out to this area and then creating a little logging camp somewhere nearby. I also wouldn't mind making an actual uh, sort of stone mine down in this pit. Once you get through the clay, there's raw stone. So it'd be cool to do... Wait, that is way deeper than I thought it was. This is the wrong pit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, not that pit. That pit's gonna need to be plugged up or something. That's a dangerous fucking pit to just have laying around. Uh, there was a pit where I was mining things. Um, maybe it was that pit? Nah, it couldn't have been that pit. It's been a while since I've done any rock mining, really. This place is full of terrible, terrible holes and clets and rifts here in the canyon. That's what I get for living in a goddamn canyon. And or mesa. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, does that lead to the mines? Ooh. The mines! The mines! Anyway, whatever. We'll call it even for now. I, I want to build a road, I think, that leads out from here to maybe a farm area. Because then I could stay in the farm area when I want to, like, focus on letting my crops and my animals grow. And then, you know, feeding them and just doing cycles of that stuff. It would be somewhere I'd probably stay especially often off stream so that I can just, um, you know, AFK, occasionally come back, feed my animals. You know, return, AFK, occasionally come back, feed my animals. It would also make more sense to have an apiary out here outside of the canyon in a slightly more temperate zone. Um, or what I could do is... I could build a farm on the canyon somewhere a little further out i don't know what i would feed my animals in a canyon is the only problem really hero makes says an apiary man that stings <laughs> i don't get it hmm Ooh, I should build a little fishing shack down there, too. Maybe that's the first thing I do, is build a fishing shack. Or I could start mapping. Maybe fishing shack's a little boring. Maybe we'll start mapping. Let's do that. I think we're going to start mapping. Yeah, let's let's focus on that. You stay here, bud. Horses will stay if they have saddles, right? Nope, they sure fucking won't. Actually, as it turns out, they sure fucking won't. The music is very quiet. I'll fix it. Don't worry. Probably not, young one. I do love maps. They're very cool. Cartography is the shit. Horses need leads. Ugh. And I gotta carry a lead everywhere I go. It's such a hassle. Lame. Uh, bon Thuata says, how many mine shafts have you discovered in this biome? I'm going to be honest with you. I've explored very little of the mine shafts in this biome. I've wandered one pretty extensively, but, uh, most of them I've just kind of ignored. Uh, I could do a little mine shaft adventuring, but I don't feel like I'm really missing any resources that I especially crave, question mark. Like, there's resources I want, I guess, but there's nothing that I'm, I'm dying to have. So first things first, I got to figure out where I'm going to put my map wall. Uh, if that's going to be in the tavern, it should probably be somewhere that's readily visible. I never thought about having a map wall, did I? Oh, that's a bummer. I could put it here, but that'd just be a boring little 4x4. Four four. I could do a 3x3 three three here, but it would cut off the wall. Still, it might not be bad. 3x3 three three right there. Oh, bulletin board, huh? Maybe. Could I put the map on the ceiling? I actually don't think you could put item um, frames on the ceiling, which is what you need to put your map down. Above the fireplace isn't bad. That's another boring little 4x4, but that is a good idea. That does sound pretty cool. 
I would like it if there's a cool monster head to mount above the fireplace. I guess there's like the Ender Dragon head, but man, to be able to mod in cool monsters would be nice. But like a little troll head above that or something, maybe. Uh, wow, I missed a bunch of Minecraft streams, but your dig's looking great. The vibes are just kiss immaculate. Thanks, I'm a penguin, and thanks for being a Rosader. Sarisa says, random question, if anyone can help me, but how come I can't join membership? I want to join the book club. Um, I don't know. I find that that is a weird bug. Sometimes you have to log in and log out. Sometimes it's an issue with mobile. Sometimes it's an issue with um desktop. So just try it on a couple different devices. That being said, speaking of book club, I am going to be doing a... I've changed my mind about book club this month. I refuse to break my streak this early. I've got a lot going on next month, but I've decided I am going to do book club. I am just going to make it so that it is due on, like, the last day of the month instead of middle of the month. So I will be telling you what book club this month will be soon. Uh, I might hold a poll for it. I might just go back and read the old post where I was suggested quite a few things and see what were, like, some popular suggestions. I don't know yet. Side note, I've also recently picked up a Game of Thrones because I've decided I'm finally going to stomach reading it. Not that it's bad. It just has a lot of um, stuff in it that I am not fond of in literature that I don't want to read about. But uh, the world building is... Immaculate. I've been watching a lot of world building videos on Game of Thrones. I'm like, damn, dude, like he kind of went fucking nutty. He kind of went fucking nutty on the world building here. Uh, and I do mean nutty. Uh, but Game of Thrones will not be the book club book because it does have a lot of themes I'm not comfortable making you guys, not making you guys, but um, I have a lot, it has a lot of themes that I don't think anybody wants to be blindsided by. And no matter how many disclaimers I put up, Somebody is going to be like, oh, cool, that's the book club today. <laughs> well, I'll just go down to my local library and, oh, my God, wh why didn't he warn me? Ah, and I'll be like, I warned you five times. I'll be like, why? And fair. I mean, fuck. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just not going to put that on the book club list. I will read that on my own time for funsies. I'm just kind of getting in the habit of reading whenever I have, like, a spare 20 or 30 minutes laying around now. Uh, so I will be doing that on my own time, but as far as the book club book, I think I'm going to pick something a little less, um, not less, I'll pick something with less, uh, touchy topics. Let's say that less topics that make me want to pull my eyeballs out of my head. How's that sound? Yeah, less gratuitous. Like, sure. That's a nice way to say it. Uh, the Nomad 5 says, I'm on book four of Wheel of Time myself. I stopped after book three. I do need to get to book four, but I've been very lazy. And at this point, it's been long enough. I, it's probably been like six months since I've read the third book. So I might have to like reread or something. And that's annoying. And I don't want to do that. Rose Blue, welcome into being a bruiser. Oh, right. We were going to make maps. You guys made me forget. Oh, guys. You made me, you made me forget. Oh. <laughs> Hey, you're welcome, Urchin of Cheese. No problem. Ursi would be great. Ah, Ursi could be fun. But then I'd be reading two fantasy novels at once. I might switch it up a bit. We've done a couple. Well, have we done a couple fantasy novels? Let's see. What was our first book? Our first book was Warrior Cats. And then it was Howl's Moving Castle. Maybe. We'll see. hey -o, Worthy Fire. How's it going? Hmm. Will I be adding cats to the criminal's cut? If I find them, absolutely I will. Do I have a hashtag to suggest books? No, but I might make a uh, membership thread soon. Soon. <laughs> a membership poll or just post where you can just vote. Uh, one second. I'm just going to take off my little jacket. It's getting hot in here. Ripped Jester said, Rosada reveal win as soon as possible. I'm sure everybody's working really hard on that on the side of management and artists and everybody else. Uh, as soon as I can, I will do that. Don't worry. Slim Jim said, Ruse, why are you so cool? I'm not. You're just mistaken. That's a matter of perspective. Wow.
Um, let's make our maps before we forget again. I'm going to forget. If you guys keep letting me, I will always forget. Soar. Paper. Did I ever make spare maps and just leave them laying around? I don't think I did. All right, let's just make our own maps. So paper. I need redstone, which I think I have a pretty okay abundance of. Yeah, redstone. Iron for the compasses. And then we do this number. That's nine. And then I want four more. Aside from Game of Thrones excess, do you have any absolutely nots for book suggestions? Uh, anything that deals with, um, really anything that's like, I don't mind gratuitous violence so much as I don't like themes that involve like, <sighs> things I really wouldn't watch like in a show or whatever is basically where I draw the line, right? Like, uh, uh, <laughs> I, sexual's fine to a degree. Nah, not really, though, because I really... I know there's a lot of, like, under 18 people who watch Hollow Pro. So, no, basically, I draw the line in anything sexual. And anything that's, like, excessively, pointlessly violent just for the sake of being violent. Like, if it's basically just gore porn, I don't want to read it. I'm not interested. Basically, nothing 18 plus, I would say, is where I draw the line. Like, will I read 18 plus stuff? Yeah, I mean, I, I could confront those, like, topics and shit, and that's fine. I just don't really enjoy it in my, uh, in my escapism. That's one. And then two, it's like, man, there's, like, a lot of, not, I mean, there's a lot of kids who watch Hollow Pro, frankly, and I can't really vet the age of people who are participating in book clubs, so skipping out on that is ideal as well. Like, just not having to deal with that would be great. Okay, so first things first, what am I going to do with, uh, what am I going to do? Okay, so, okay, 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 bear with me, bear with me. If I can only make a 4x4 four four map, do I want to make those maps the super duper ridiculously big maps? Like, the ones that are, like, zoomed out as far as possible and put them above this so you can see, like, continental type stuff? Or... Do I want to find a place where I could do a three by three? Well, I, could, I, could, I guess I can make a cartographer's station to do a three by three. So I could do the four by four map above the fireplace and make that a um, a sort of really zoomed out map. And then the Qatar, mm, no, that's backwards because in the, hmm, let me think. Hmm. Oh, this could be a map wall, technically. This could be a map wall. But it would kill the vibes. It would make it look really weird, huh? It would, like, kill the color palette immediately. God damn, I do love map walls, though. Uh, man. Man, that's a bummer. Uh, hmm. Let me cook for a second. Zoomed out maps be continental and zoomed in maps be local area. Yeah, Sneech Cole, uh, that would be what I'm talking about, but uh, I don't know. I'm trying to decide which one I want, really, because I, I can only really put one in here. I mean, I could put two in here. Ardene says, uh, put, an, put it in the attic and make it the war meeting room. I don't see a tavern going to war is the problem. You know what I mean? This is just a tavern. It's just, it's the map would be like courtesy of the owner so that people knew where they were in the area. Hmm. Hmm. 
That is a pretty moon. We'll look at the moon for a second while I think. I'm just, I'm, I'm seeing in my mind's eye. I'm decision making in my mind's eye. Here we go. Ah. Look now to the moon, to the stars. Let me think for a second. Can I put the map on the floor? I don't know for sure. The moon is round. Yes, on this, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. what is the word I'm looking for? In this lighting pack. In this shader. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for, shader. Which is also why you get, like, light that works with torches even when you're just holding them. That's part of the shader pack. See how I, like, light up dark areas as I approach them? And also why metallic things reflect light. And, uh, shiny things, like, um... You know, raw clay and stuff. Shader? I barely know her, says Rosie. I don't need to know anybody to throw shade at him. Okay, I think we'll do a four by four and I'll just zoom it out like twice. Instead of zooming it out to being a massive, fully zoomed out continental style map, I'll just zoom it out maybe two, two times. Because I think a maximum you can zoom out is four. So we'll call it a two by zoom. And we'll put it right up here. I need to put the nine away so I don't forget though. Wait, is that not how you do it? Wait, do you have to open the map first? That'd be annoying. Hmm. Okay, so this makes the map bigger. And that duplicates the map. Kelly A says, I'm having a nice time vibing with you in the Resaders, so thanks for that. I also got tickets today to see, ooh, Hatsune Miku. I have forgot Hatsune Miku did live shows, but congratulations. I'm sure that's going to be a lot of fun. Happy, happy, happy. Boop, 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 boop. Anthony Levine, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but I may end up mounting some monster skulls up there. We'll see. We gotta bring a little badassness back to this beautiful tavern. It's 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 too soft right now. And I don't mind a criminal's hangout that feels aesthetic. Even criminals gotta enjoy aesthetics, right? But we gotta add something in it that suggests danger. First of all, I hate you. But I think the way you always make choices in a way that of uh, taking care of us is so charming. Still, yuck. I'm not taking care of you, Froyo. I just don't want you whining. I would never take care of anybody, and I won't. I'm not interested. In fact, I take uncare of people. I try to uh, make it worse for people. Yeah! Yeah! But also, you're welcome. All right, how do I make a map bigger without actually opening the map? I don't want to open the map yet because I don't know what it's going to look like in the area around the map. How do I make you... I don't understand. I thought... I thought you just... I, th I, I could have swore you just surrounded it with paper. Mm. Mm. Oh, Lord, he cooking. It has to be open? That's such a fucking hassle. Like, how am I going to open it in a way that... <sighs> Whatever. All right, uh, fine. So first one I've got to open is inside of the actual tavern. So we'll do that. Ah, man, what a hassle, what a hassle, what a hassle. Okay, so that's what we look like from an aerial view, by the way. Man, that is a yellow area around the tavern, huh? <laughs> kind of cool, though. Now, I want to zoom you out. Is 
Is that too far? That's not too far. That's fine. That'll work. That'll work. It's still enough to show where the criminal's cut is, and I think that's what's important. Um, yeah, two zoom is enough. Maybe. Maybe too much. I probably should have at least looked at it with one zoom. Hmm. I could always open another map. Then I'd have to make another map, and that's a huge waste of resources, but... Let's open another map. And then we'll zoom it out once and see how we feel. Oh, I love that roof. Oh, it looks like a little beetle. Like a little beetle with little eyes. Ooh, it's so cute. Doing one's not that bad either. Hmm. One or two. One or two. Let's take a look at both. Hey, oh, let me cat. We think one's kind of nice. Okay, so one is kind of nice. Maybe we'll do one then. One, one, everybody thinks one. Okay, so I'll put the two map away for now. We'll come back to it at some point. Uh, the two map is going to go in this little chest here. We'll keep a hold of the one map and we'll assume that we want a bunch of zoomed out one maps for our local area. So what I need to do is take this with me, annoyingly. And we're gonna go take a nap and then I'm gonna go work on my mapping. Yay, maps! Get the little beetles. Get them. You won't get them. Get them. Get them. I dare you to get little beetles for your desk. I dare you to get little desk beetles. Actually, it'd be kind of cute to have um, two signs so they connected. You could just kind of like uh, walk right under them on either of these doors since most of them I think are... Mm, uh, at least they're parallel for these two rooms. So you could have two sets of two signs. That could be kind of fun. And then write room numbers on them or something. Ooh... All right, so let's get mapping. Here we go. Uh, this can go here. This can go here. I don't think I'm going to need my torch that much. So I'm going to move it back. And we're going to move everything out a little bit. so I can get to access to my map a little faster. Oh, I should get my horse. That'll make things fast for me. Or will it? Surrounded by a lot of water. Maybe I do this one on foot. Nah, we'll, we'll make it work. I mean, what's the point in having a horse if I don't use it for adventure, right? Hey, Osaya. We need bees. You'll get your bees. Don't worry. Wait, which horse did I usually take out? Oh, yeah, you. Oh, that's fast. Ooh, that's nice. Brother says, Roos, do you like traveling? The few times I have had cause to genuinely travel, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. I do like the idea of traveling. It is just an expensive prospect, typically. Uh, so yeah, I like traveling. I just wish I could do it more. Luckily, I don't have to go too far to the edge of the map to, um, or too far to get the edges of the map filled in here. So I'm going to focus on that for just a second. I may not be reading as many messages while I do this because I don't want to drop my horse into an impossible to retrieve pit. There we go. That's the whole map for this side. So now that begs to question, how do I want to approach the rest of this map? Do I want the tavern to be in the bottom left corner of the map? In which case I need to go north one and then right and then right again. Or do I want the tavern to be on the top left, in which case I'd have to go south one. And then turn left, and then turn left. I think bottom left. I think bottom left so we can see what's going on in the north area. Because I think that's going to give the most visual interest since the uh, north is more forested.
Okay. Now then, we leave my horse here for a second. I open my map. I drop this down. I pop this open. I take my new map that I just made, which is not open yet, apparently. And I zoom it out. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I see what I did wrong. And I zoom it out. So now, theoretically, these should, the moment I pass over, oh, hold on. The moment I pass the threshold, I should see myself on either map. So let's start with this map and go south and make sure this is working. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, they're working. Perfect. Yay! All right, let's finish mapping out this area. It's going to be a little annoying because it is both hilly and forested, which is a bad combo for horses. Um, but that's okay. Hello, zombie. Am I planning to use markers to map out um, landmarks on the map? I could. Uh, one thing I like to do sometimes is I'll go around and I'll make little cartography stations after I make highways or roads or whatever, um, like horse paths. I'll make horse paths using like either dirt or uh, different materials. And then what I'll do is I'll put little like way stations occasionally along that path and I'll make copies of maps and leave them in the way station so it looks like another player's there. Because then you get like a little icon, kind of like that little white icon, except it's a different color, like green or whatever. And then that acts as a marker to show you where certain way stations are and how close you are to them, which is nice. Ooh, ooh, horse and forest, not good. Okay. Too tall. Oh, that's a pit. We don't want to go in a pit. Does the grass grow over? Not if you beat the earth down with a shovel, no. Oh, great. It always rains some somehow, some way. It always rains when I'm doing cartography in Minecraft. It has never failed to do this. It has never once failed to rain when I'm doing cartography in Minecraft. I don't know why. I think God is punishing me for daring to explore his domain. Oh, hey, there's a little jungle at the edge of this map. That's cool. Remember that this weird, like, sort of really splotchy green area is jungle wood in the future, okay? Okay, try to remember that. That's, uh, that's good to know that we have a jungle so close and a plains biome so close. Also very cool. Ooh, this song goes. So if I need to get jungle wood... I have a jungle right by me, and I don't even have to cross the river. I used to feel like I had to cross the river to get to the jungle and then do some boating, but it turns out I could just walk north. And if I make a sort of farmhouse up this way, like a ranch or something out here in these fields, then I'll really be in a good position to um, make use of that jungle. All right, let's go this way now. So let me think. If this is the map, this is the map that's north of this. So I need to go right and open a map. Let's go right just a little more to be safe, but not too far. And then I'm going to dismount and pray nothing finds me out here. No mobs, please. No mobs, please. And then I got to open a map. Oh, well, 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 here we go. Man, I love cartography in Minecraft. Ooh, it always looks so good when you get the map done too. Especially if you've been building a cool project. Like sometimes I like to build little towns in Minecraft and seeing that from above looks like a little RPG, like um, battle map. Or like a little RPG map to show your little adventures where they are. You know, in like Final Fantasy, when you go out in the world map, everything's represented by like little pixel towns and stuff. It looks like that to me. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. That's so fucking cool. I made that. Hmm. hmm. Let's find a way through this little wooded area. Ooh, there's some sort of peninsula out here, like a rocky 
a rocky beach. Oh man, and there's so much jungle out there. And a cave. Hmm. Interesting. Indeed, a wise choice. All right, I'm going to dismount and swim a little ways just to um, get the rest of this corner of the map up here. Got it. Autumn 343 says, do you have a little checklist of what you want to build? Nah, I just build as, uh, as things strike me. I typically have a few go-to things that I like building. You know, like I like building logging camps. I like building quarries. Uh, I like building things that make me feel like a civilization exists in this world or like a people could live here and it makes sense that they would like tame this wilderness. Um, I've never built a tavern before, so that was pretty cool. Uh, sometimes I'll build little castles or keeps. Guardhouses, I like building guardhouses. I like building roads, actually. I, I, take a, I take a lot of joy in building roads. I don't know why, but the problem with roads is I need something to connect them. I need a reason for the road to be there, right? Like, just having road for road's sake is kind of silly. I've already, already looted this. No, apparently not, because there's a clock in here. What is that? A fire charge? Ooh, obsidian. Oh, horse armor. Huh. Weird. But yeah, I think it's part of the whole mapping process that I really like the roads for, because the roads kind of create this, like... I don't know, completed sense with maps. Like, if you've made a bunch of maps and then you make a bunch of roads and they start to slowly show up on your maps, it just feels right. It feels good. It feels like something you would see in a, uh, well, in an RPG or a D&D handout map or something like that. You know what I mean? All right, so we're going to be in this area for a second, but I do want to go east before I open my next map because I want to make sure that I've got the right map down. Horse trees! Horse trees. Beautiful. Oh, man. The zombies are starting to come out because it's getting dark and it's rainy. What a bummer. All right. We're going to have to make this next part fast. Uh, So if I go this way, I want to go south, uh, north for a second just to make sure that I've actually... I'm actually in the right area still and I'm close enough to the edge of this map. Uh, this might have to do. This might have to be as close as we get. Uh, so hop off, new map. Da, 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 please work. Uh, 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 uh. Hey. It looks like it's working. Okay, so let's go east real quick and find the rest of this. Ow. Fuck. There we go. And then we go south. And I almost ran into a pit and a zombie. Wow! No, oh, that's not good. See you guys later. Hey, spider. Ow! Hey, spider. Oh, this is that little uh, river where I used to go across to get the um, jungle wood. Where I used to thought... I used to think I had to cross to get jungle wood, rather. I still cross to get jungle wood here occasionally, um, but now I don't have to, so that's nice. Anyway, I might have to finish the rest of this map tomorrow, but it would be a shame to leave it almost done. So what I might do is I might park my horse somewhere... And then just uh, get out and run there and then come back for my horse later. I don't think they're going to hurt my horse if it's on its own. So if I just set my horse like, I don't know, here, for example, and then run, I should be able to just do this. Just I got to remember he's at the top of this hill. I can't forget. He's got a saddle on him and he's a cool horse. And I love him. Okay. 
Mm, a drowned. What's the quickest way back up onto the land from here? Probably over there. But he's kind of blocking that, huh? Hey, bud. You fuck off. Oh, you would have a trident, you dick. Fuck off, I said. Aha, idiot. Oh, you're fucking me. The map's so close to done right here, but it's not done. That sucks. It's like two pixels! All right, hold on. It's like two pixels. Um. Ah, fine. What a hassle. Come on! Come on! Uh. One pixel. Okay, one more pixel. One more pixel. One more pixel. Here we go. Got it! We're done. Alright, let's go get our watermelon and get the fuck out of here. Before I am slain by the beasts of the night... I also need to remember that my horse is up on that ledge. Okay, horse is up on that ledge. Got it. Hello, Vasabelin. Can I plant watermelon? Or do I need watermelon seeds? I don't think I got any seeds out of that. Oh, well. Ah, oh, there's a skeleton now. I just instinctually tried to crouch as if that was going to increase my aim in this game. Fur tree, thank you for the delicious gifted chips. Okay, now to ascend this massive fucking hill. Should be easy enough. I'm an insane hill climber. Parkour. Oh, cool. This is that's convenient, isn't it? Isn't that fucking nice? All right, where's my horse at? Hello, horse. Are you up here? Let's get some high ground and look around. Horse, it's spooky out of here, bud. We gotta move. All right, let's get the fuck out of here, buddy. Keep running up that hill. Ah! Baby zombies, fuck! No! They're very fast. Uh. Oh, man. Look at that beautiful beacon on the horizon. Wow! A vision of beauty. A vision of grace. Of heroism. Of safety. All right, welcome home, bud. You are safe. Nobody died. Perfect. We made it. We did our little map. We're going to check out our cool new map wall, which I'm very excited about. And then we will figure out what we're going to do from there. Yeah, 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 yeah. More dogs. Maybe less dogs. We'll leave six dogs for now. Six, six and a half dogs is enough for me for now. We'll add more dogs as we see fit. Uh, so I need item frames, and I think I have a few already, but I'm going to need more than just two. I forgot how to make item frames. Frame. Whoa, there's glow item frames now? Oh, that's cool. Oh, leather. Leather and sticks, huh? Interesting. Well, the good news is I, I do have leather.
Okay. Um, is two enough? No, I needed three. Gosh, right. Yay! All right. So let's go ahead and set up our map. Whee! Map wall. Map wall. Now the next question. Do we want it above the fireplace or do I want it on this wall above this window? I feel like the fireplace draws your eye, so it should be above the fireplace, but I would learn lose that cool chimney feel. Hmm. Huh. That's a good idea, Hazel Knight. I'll consider it. So it should be in this order. Boop. And boop. And boop. And boop. <laughs> oh, baby! Woo! I love maps! God, I love maps! Fucking love maps. Oh, that makes me want to make a road and start on my logging camp. Oh, and I could clear out some of the wood around it so it'd be a really, like, noticeable dent in the uh, forest around there. <sighs> Stay calm. Stay calm, Ruse. <laughs> Don't let people see you get unnaturally excited about stupid fucking pixelated maps. All right. Whew. All right. Sorry. Whew. Sorry. God, I love maps. Makes you want to play some Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> I could put my logging camp up here. I kind of want to do, I think what I want to do is I want to do my plains and pasture area like right here. So I'll have like a road that either carve. I think what I want to do is I want to do a road that purposely carves into the canyon, right? Because I feel like people don't often, they, they do build roads that go up and down, but they just as often dig their way through. So they don't have like an up, down, hilly path. And it makes it easier for supply wagons and stuff to get, you know, to and from a place. So what I could do, right, is build a road that comes from the tavern and goes up and heads this way. And then, like, this is a pasture of some sort or down by this lake is a pasture of some sort. Like a little idyllic sort of farmhouse. And maybe we put, like, actual, like, we put all the animals by this lake on the north side. And maybe we put, like, a uh, farmland up here or something. Um, and then what I could do after that is I could build a road that splits off right before in the forest here and build a logging camp in the center over here, maybe. Yeah, in an apiary, possibly. I could also treat this like an art. So one thing that I think spawned my idea of how I like um, maps laid out is RTS type games. While I'm not good at them, I've always really enjoyed watching them. And I do play them for aesthetic sense a lot of times, which is stupid. Um, but like... If I were to play on this map in an RTS, what I would do is I would put my main base somewhere like right here, right? So that all of my little units could get to water and get to trees quickly. And then I'd probably put a logging camp near the wood's edge. And you would just log at the wood's edge from nearby. But putting a logging camp right by a farm in the sense of like a real place would be pretty loud and annoying. And you'd also have risk of like crushing animals or trees and stuff. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Logs are often floated down rivers. Yeah, putting a logging camp near this river would be really cool, especially in that jungle area, like across the actual um, water, maybe. Float the logs down the river and then have like a retrieval station here. But that's really uphill. Actually, the river stays pretty uphill until you get down to like here-ish, if I remember correctly. The river winds around like this. And then this area right here-ish is... um the only shallow part. Otherwise, it's really tall canyon walls. There's no easy way to get the logs up to the tavern, which is fine. You wouldn't need a ton of logs for a tavern anyway. Firewood, probably, but you could transport that along the main road. Yeah, those dogs are looking at me. It's kind of weird. And... Hmm. Heyo, welcome in. I also got to figure out what I'm going to do for road here because I can't use packed dirt because this is all terracotta, right? Or clay, whatever. Uh, it's like canyon clay, so there's no way I could do packed dirt. What I could do is take a lot of the yellow clay I have, because I do have an okay amount, and I could make like a yellow road all the way up, and then do packed dirt as it starts to hit the actual soil here until it makes it to the... Um, farm.
A yellow brick road. Ooh. I could also do this nice dark brown terracotta because it's going to stand out against that orange really well. But I have to go farm a bunch of it, which means I need to go to the top of this hill and cut down a huge chunk of this. Which isn't that bad, but... Oh, I fucking love roads, Froyo. I love roads. Um, I kind of want to start with... I want. I feel like I want to start with the road, but I'm not sure yet. I'm also eventually going to have to make a road south toward um, Gerard and Octavio's place, so it stops being so hard to find this. But that's going to be a long, long, difficult road that covers multiple, like, waterways. So either I need to make a road... Well, I guess I could make a road to a boat station and just assume I make two docks instead. The people here could travel by river instead of, like, running across a fucking desert all day. Hmm... Nah, I don't want to make any trains. I don't I don't really make use of uh, redstone or mine tracks in Minecraft. No, partially because I don't really, like, want to bother with figuring out, like, how many tracks until you place a red, uh, you know, a powered rail. And then how many, like, redstone stuff you got to place around to power all that. And blah, 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 blah. But mostly because aesthetically, I just don't like um, having railroad technology. Sarcasm! Welcome to being a Rosader. Doesn't Octavio's place have a dock you could use as a port? Oh, big brain, big brain, big brain, big brain, big brain. Hmm. All right, so what I may do, instead of making a huge road, is this might just be the first place you come to after you get off the dock, right? There might be, like, a little docking station down on this uh, southern peninsula of this little uh, island here. Or no. Hmm. I want the tavern to be alone on this. Uh, so this is its own island, right? Like, this, this thing here, by the way, is its own giant jutting rock in the middle of this water. So there's no... There's nothing connected to it, and I don't necessarily want it to feel like it's easy to get here by boat. So what I might do is I might put a little fishing dock down here, and then I'll put a road that leads to another area that deposits out near the water, and that will be where the dock actually is. And then this tavern will be like a stop-off point if you're traveling from Octavio's um, church, the Church of O, up to this logging camp or this farm for some reason. What you do is you would stop off at the tavern, which then makes a reason why the tavern's here in the middle of a canyon. Why would a tavern be sitting in an arid piece of shit place like this? Because you get good business for travelers, right? Because people don't want to travel through a desert all day, all night. They're going to want to stop off, breathe, have a drink, have something to eat, eat some delicious fish, boom, bam. Okay, so we have an idea. We've done some world building. We're world building in Minecraft. Okay, cool. Stonks. Let's start with the bridge. We're going to do the bridge tomorrow. Or today, if it's light out now. I think I yapped until the sun came up. I yapped until the sun came up. Let's start with our bridge, shall we? It's time we looked at, took a critical look at our bridge and decided what it was we wanted to do with that exactly. Um, so, 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 so. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. Looking at it. I'm glad this curves so much because I could take a quick peek from like other angles to see what I think about the bridge. And I think what I want to do is, okay, so there's two ways I can go about this. I could make an arching up bridge, right? Or I could make a straight bridge and do one grand pillar all the way down to the water, which would actually be really fucking cool. Ooh, that would be so aesthetic. It's hard to refuse that. It's hard to refuse that. I was originally going to make like a hanging bridge that was sort of like a wood bridge, you know, and came down and had like a bow in it. So it looked like you had to walk across this hanging bridge. But A, you couldn't get carts across that. And B, god damn, would it look cool both in the water and out of the water. There's this big giant support pillar that went all the way down in the river. Hmm. Arash, Arashi, what do you mean by uh, building elements? But what do I want it to be built out of? Let's see. So no tree would be tall enough to really do something like that. So you can't just have a single giant trunk. I mean, fantasy tree, I guess. Hmm. 
I could do stone. Stone bread. Oh, I played Sims. I just get bored of it really quickly. That's true, Gabby. That's true. Psycho Magi says, you could have a giant creature skeleton. Like the skeleton forms the support and the bridge? Hmm. Maybe. Build Argonath! I'll consider it a range mark. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking. My problem with Sims is I really go hard on building the building and designing the like people that live there and all that stuff, and I get excited about it, and then I play the game for about 10 minutes and I stop. I spend like eight hours on the setup, and then I never play the game. Yeah, you could technically make this work by just having supports inside the actual cliff. Like, either by sticking, like, long, thick pillars that attach to the bridge that dig down into the earth and then come up at an angle like this would be more than enough to support a bridge like this, but I feel like a really tall pillar would look so fucking cool. The problem is, is the bridge long enough to make sense of one that would be wide enough, right? Because if the pillar that supports it is too wide... Suddenly, the bridge isn't going to look long enough. Um, but if the pillar that supports it is too thin, it's going to be really tall and thin. It's going to look sort of comedic and goofy as if the bridge could topple at any point. Wawa090 says, do you have the common stuff people tend to have in Minecraft, like a cobblestone generator? Absolutely not. I don't automate anything in Minecraft. I don't mind if you do. I understand why that's fun. But if I'm not playing Minecraft like a Luddite, I'm not enjoying Minecraft. I, I want to go out and get everything that I need. Uh, I don't do any generators. I don't generate. Uh, I don't do generative farms or XP or materials. Mm -mm. Yeah, we might just go ahead and do the arch. We might do an arch support. Fuck it. Yeah, well, maybe you could generate some bit. What was that, Rosie? No, no, Rosie, finish what you were going to say. <laughs> uh, two pillars, both of them doing arch support. What do you mean by two pillars, both of them? Oh, well, what I think I'm going to do now, I think I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to, here, hold on. Let me get back out there real quick, and I'll show you what I mean. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have, tri not triangular, but um, diagonal supports coming out of the actual wall here that dig into the wall some. So I'm just going to have them, like, protrude from the wall at an angle and come up underneath the bridge. I don't know if I'm going to have the bridge curve or be straight, though. Um, hmm. Like, I want a support that comes up like this, basically. And one that comes up like this. I could do a curved support that comes up and, like, digs into the actual canyon wall and then fill it all the way in. But part of me wants to see, like a thin beam essentially that comes up here and attaches to the side or the under underneath of this and then create sort of a support platform so you can see in between in an empty triangle of space can i just say hi yeah you can thanks for being a bruiser Oh, the bridge is going to be wider. Don't worry, Hazel Knight. Uh, I need the bridge wide enough that a horse doesn't look like it's going to fall off the moment it walks across it. See you later, Blaze. Blink well. Blink freely. Blink to your heart's content. I think I'm going to start by widening the bridge, and then we'll work on the bridge underneath it and see what we think. Uh, I might do the support beams, then build up from there. Well, if I do that. Hmm. If I do that, I might end up building the supports too high. 
And then it's not going to look right when I build the bridge on top. I should probably start at the top of the bridge and then do the supports after. Yeah, my horses. Check them out. I've been breeding them. I originally only had this white one and this gray one and this. No, wait. I don't even think I had a white one. I had that speckled one. I had this one and I had this dappled gray one. And somehow I got a white horse and another gray horse out of that. But what are you going to do? Will I still be doing a wooden bridge? Um, It's either that or cobblestone. Cobblestone would stand out really well in this environment, but wood would fit in really well. It depends on if I want the bridge to be really eye-catching or if I want the bridge to just be something that leads to an eye-catching tavern. I actually found them up in the plains to the north, Arashi. Uh, if you remember my little wall map, there's plains to my north area. If you travel a little, like, very short distance up that way, you'll find a tiny little uh, er er oak and birch forest, and then past that to the north is a sort of deep valley, like, vale type of deal. Could do a mix of logs and cobble. Yeah, that could be fun. Ah, tasty. Hold on. I take a little bite of my snack. Mmm. I do like walls for decoration, Hazelnite. This is always the worst part of a build, is the very, very start. You're always wondering to yourself, okay, what do I really want to do with this? Um, Since I have... Well, I'm going to have a lot of oak, log, or oak soon, because I'm going to go deforest a bit for my... um. I'm going to go deforest in a bit for my words are hard. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Logging camp. There we go. God damn, that was difficult to come to for some reason. <laughs> a mix of wood and stone would be nice. True. Huh? Wait, what do you mean, huh? What, I got a traitor out here or something? Who's hanging me? Oh, ooh, wait a minute. Oh, that can just hang there, huh? I think that's kind of funny. Look, wait a minute. That could be interesting for something later. I could make tables out of that, actually. I could make really believable tables by putting uh, these rods down on the ground here. Uh, and then doing item frames on top. Wait a minute. Can item frames go on the ground? Oh! Uh, sometimes, Icarus, yes. It depends on the uh, build itself, whether or not I do, and whether or not I could import those items from close by, but occasionally I just build something that has nothing to do with the area. It's around for fun. Wow, well, so, so I heard they gave access and value in PvP combat instead of only swords, bows, uh, bow, and blocks meta. May I inquire as to why? One, to counter the shield meta, because shields were just busted against swords and bows. You could just, like, tank any shot you wanted for as long as you wanted. And two, because I think a lot of people want variety in Minecraft weapons, and it gets boring to left-click with a sword all day with no actual counterplay or meta involved in it. Uh, I still find Minecraft combat incredibly dull. I do not enjoy Minecraft combat, and if I was allowed to, I would mod the fuck out of it. 
Uh, because I think that it in of itself is simplistic to the point of being like dreary. Ooh. Oh boy, I wish I had some emeralds. I had llamas, but they died. I put them in that pin and they're not there anymore. Man, I want that glowstone and that mangrove. I want that mangrove more than anything. I want that mangrove more than anything. Give me that mangrove. I'm gonna go see if I have some emeralds. Hold on. Nope. Okay, fine. I don't have any. All right, that's fine. Bum, 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 bum. Well, let, uh, oh, wait. I got distracted because I wanted to upgrade my tables real quick. Let's upgrade my tables, and then we'll, um, and then we'll continue what we're doing. Char. How do I make a lightning rod? It is just copper. One, two. That scared the piss out of me. I was like, what was that sound? Three. And then I got to make more of this. Where did I put my leather? I could have swore I put it in this. Okay. Okay, let's see if this works out, shall we? Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, all right. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Very good. Very good. I'm going to leave that one as is, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to leave that one as is. But I like it. That's true. I could place food on the tables. I want to put a cake on the table. Oh, 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 baby! Oh, baby, a triple! All right, cool. Ooh, let's make a mush suit before we do this. Hold on. Hey, do you have to make all that fucking noise out there, my guy? Dude's never heard of drinking quietly in his life. Mmm, mushroom stew. Yum, 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 yum. Gruel. Yummy. Gruel. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yay. <laughs> Music don't go. It's just very quiet. Hold on. Oh, my God. That music's quiet. I had to put a little soup down. It's required. There's no chips, but I could do a baked potato for one of them. Or a cookie. Yeah, I'm going to do a baked potato. I think a baked potato sounds fun. <laughs> Yum. Yum! Nice. All right, that was a little bit of a distracted tangent, but that's okay. Tangentially related. Uh -huh. Indeed, a wise choice. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got a fire charge last time. I need to put that away somewhere. Uh, 
うんおーおーそうそうそうそうそう Okay, the rest is fine. Oh, hold on, not fine. I do need to put this away. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put the subsidian. Never mind, figured it out. Okay, cool, back to work. Let's go take a nap, and then we're gonna head out there, and we're gonna build our bridge a bit. Mushrooms textures reminds me of ears. What mushrooms are you eating? What do you mean by that? Mmm. Ow. All right, we're going to start with something simple. I'm just going to widen the path for now. Oh, hey, there's a skeleton down there. And he's in the shadow of the canyon, so he's in immune to the sunlight. Mari says, oh boy, I sure love chewing on ears. Yum, 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 yum. Mari, why would you say something so controversial? And so false. <gasps> oh, I'm going to need so much more oak. Oh, God. That's fine, though. We won't be building strictly out of oak. We will figure something else out as we go. It's a much nicer bridge, much comfier to cross. I might even add one more so that I can have a three wide lane uh, after I inevitably add some sort of side rail. So I think I'm going to add one more so I can have a three wide lane with a side rail. One second, one second. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do a thing. I gotta do the thing. I gotta do... Where are you, you motherfucker? Where'd you go? Oh, you're gone. Did I lose you somewhere? Where'd you go, you little fuck? <laughs> Someone got to you before I could. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. decision time. Glad I get to see you during my break. Nice bridge! Thank you, Fruit Fly. Wait until you see it when it's done. Right now, it's just a, it's a little dinkly, uh, uh, it's, it's an outline. It's a concept. It's the, uh, this is what I want my bridge to one day look like. Now, do I want it to arch up or do I want it to arch down? No! Not rain! Not now! Come on! I just want to build! Fine! I think I want to do arch up, but do I want the bridge to have a bump to it? Like, do I want it to bump up and come down? That could be kind of fun. Of course, that makes it harder to add accents on the side because you can only do it every other space. It's 
so typically, uh, Big Red said, thoughts on making it a covered bridge so it's not so hot to walk across? I've considered it, and typically I do do covered bridges, but I think out here in this rugged terrain, it makes more sense not to do a rugged or a uh, 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 covered bridge. Not because, like, I don't know if it makes more sense more than it's just more aesthetic to me, right? In a canyon? I feel like seeing, like, a pagoda-style, like, roof over a bridge in a canyon seems somehow out of place, even though it would make sense to keep it cool. Uh, meow Meow Pow Pow says, add stairs or half blocks? Yes, I will be adding half blocks probably if I do an arched bridge. Don't arch down, but then I would lose the shape of the curve up. So the curve up means that it's probably gonna curve up somewhat. Hmm, that's gonna be a little complex because what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to create um, probably upside down stairs until they come up into the bridge itself and then a more smooth curve because if it was a full upside down stair, I would create a really ugly, huge arch like this and we don't want that. We want a really gentle slope up and down. And do I want to do wood or do I want to do... Hmm. Cobblestone. I like how this bi this biome counts as river. So it says, oh, it can rain here. Uh, but then when you get to the actual either side, it's like, it's not river anymore. It's canyon. It can't rain here. It can't rain here. <laughs> what is this song? Is this Minecraft music? Oh, it is. Mellowy. Let's take a moment to vibe in the in the tavern while we let the rain pass. Uh, and I have a little uh, bite of my snack, and I'll just chat with you guys. So, how are we feeling about Minecraft so far? We did a little map work. We haven't gotten much else done, but it's always the conceptual stage that takes the longest. Um, nom, nom, nom. Okay, can I just say bye? Bye. Um. Snacking on cake. I bought a little cake while I was out. It's tasty. Just one of those cheap store cakes, you know what I mean? Wawa says, I'd argue it's the conceptual material gathering stage that take, uh, that's time consuming. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. I don't feel like material gathering takes me too long because I tend to just gather materials uh, like en masse when I'm gathering them. So I often have a ton of leftover for projects, but... Nom, nom, nom. Chocolate cake with chocolate fudge icing. All right. Mm. I might have to kill Mr. Uh-huh out here. He's pissing me off. Blow is not on the go, says, by the way, is this world fully survival or do you guys spawn in materials? Fully survival. Um, there is an admin who has the ability to spawn in materials, but as far as I know, he plays fully survival as well. I do not have the ability to do that. And frankly, I don't want the ability to do that. And I don't want the charity, which is why I built so far away from everybody. Hmm. Uh, the rest of the boys on the server are pretty, not all of the boys. Everybody who decides Armus is uh, over by Tempest HQ or on the JP side of the server, since we're connected to a JP server as well. 
Uh, and all of them have anything they could ever want. I, I'm not saying that, like, derogatorily. Like, they took the time to build a bunch of farms and automators, and they have, like, infinite iron and infinite um, villagers and infinite pretty much anything you could possibly desire. And that's super cool. It's just I like playing Minecraft like a fucking uh, Puritan piece of shit. So I like to go out into the wilderness and just try to grab my own stuff. And that's what I did. I ran off on my own and said I'm just going to do it my own. Will I be doing a villager trading hall? Nope. Yeah, everyone has their own play style, and I think that's a lot of fun. Uh, so we're deciding now, do we want to do... Hold on, let me take a look at this stone cutter real quick. Oh, let me grab a piece of stone, actually. This might help with a little bit of inspiration. So, ooh, this could make really cool accent pieces on the bridge. Okay, so what about this? What if we do a stone? Let's keep it simple, right? Like, it's tempting when you're playing Minecraft to be like, oh, well, I don't want to just rely on, like, planks and, and stone. That's boring. Everybody does that. That's been around in Minecraft since the beginning, but it does look good. It's got a classic chef's kiss feel to it. So I think we're going to do cobblestone, and we're going to do, um, or rather, we're going to do stone break, and we're going to do wood. Haka, senpai, thank you for the raid, and welcome in. How was the crowbar? How'd it go? Did you enjoy yourself? First episode, right? I gotta watch the VOD later. I'm excited to check it out. Kaw, kaw. Amazing! Fuck yeah. Glad to hear it. Okay, so let's... Uh, don't wanna do dark wood? I wanna do dark wood. Oh. No, the wood would be sun bleached from being in the sun for so long. Maybe we actually do birch planks? It's got a very classic feel to it. I do like the idea of doing birch planks. I don't have very much birch wood, though. Nah, let's stick with oak for now. Maybe one day we'll upgrade to birch. We'll see. Uh, Camellia is a sweetheart. Oh, is Camellia the guest? Glad to hear it. Birds have des descended upon the bar. Speaking of a bar, you guys want to see my little tavern? Whoa. Here you go, Hakitos. You're welcome. Ta-da! I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Not bad, right? We got our little tables with our little food in it. This is my little singing stage for karaoke night. Uh, these are all the little, like, uh, gathering areas. Here's our fireplace and our map, which I'm still... I got to get some roads going and stuff like that. So that's kind of kicking. Um, yeah, that's kind of... I'm, I'm, go I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Life's looking good here in the tavern. Oh, no, you don't. Now I'm going to go to bed, though. I'm going to go up to the little tavern room here and go to sleep. Oh, a little flower tree. Open a window for some air, and good night. Ambiance is great. Delicious ambiance. Ah. Anyway, today what we're doing is I'm going to be working on this bridge and making it a little less utilitarian. So we'll see how that goes. Does the stationary map update in real time, asks Wawa. Uh, it does not, actually. You have to remove it and pick it back up and look at it to update it, as far as I know. Which is fine by me. It's not a huge deal. It's a small enough map I can just open it and not really have to walk very far. Unless I was, uh, you know, driving a road all the way up north through to the wood farm. Yeah, you gotta create airflow, Draco. You can't just have air coming in one way and then stagnatingly hitting a wall. You gotta create the airflow. Anyway, beautiful. Uh, so, let's get to work. I'm going to build a crafting table or carry a crafting table with me, and we'll see what we do. Do I have a crafting table already laying around? I think I do. I don't! Uh, bye! Seriously, I don't. I seriously don't. Wow. Okay. Uh. Well, that's fine. Huh? 
Maybe one more just in case. All right, let's go get to work. So how gradually do we want this to increase? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. 37. I could extend it by one more if I wanted some sort of symmetry. We'll see. Uh, Zephyr Hill says, thank you for keeping me company for two months of 3D modeling. Hell! Wish me luck in making something that won't break. I believe in you. You've got this. So let's see. If I take 37 and I add one to it, that's 38. I could divide that by, well, if I do 36, I can divide that by um, three and get 13. So then every... No, sorry. I would have to add two to divide that by 13. Or you can get 13. Hmm. What do you get? 12? So I can do it every six or every three blocks I go up. Okay, so every three blocks, we'll go up a half block. That's what we'll do. Lyra Loner Heart says, uh, <clears throat> what's up? What's up? It's okay. Everything always breaks with 3D modeling. You just got to work through the break. Okay, so let's assume that we want to break. Oh, where'd my axe go? Ah, oh, shit, where's my axe? Did I throw my axe for some reason? I must have left it in the stone chest. Two months! Two months with you? Guess I'm here for life. Well, I guess you've completed your hazing ritual, huh, Hey Hayes? <laughs> Thanks for two months, chump. Truki! Thank you for the ten gifted chips. I will... Those. Why the fuck did I do that? I just realized I'm gonna need to... Fuck. I fucked up. Because I need to do this. Uh, I'm an idiot. Okay, whew, safe. So the idea here is that if I go go up by three every time, it shouldn't be too aggressive of an arch, but let's go take a little peek and see if that's true. If it ends up being too aggressive, what I could do instead is I go up every six, uh, and that'll work just fine. Thank you for the chips. Um, yum, yum, yum. I am going to use those delicious chips to purchase myself... Um... I think what I'm going to get with that is I'm going to get uh, a bunch of tiny, thin, like, metal wire. And then I am going to tie things together, but usually behind things. Like, I'm going to tie, like, couches to chairs and end tables uh, to, like, you know, the legs of, like, nightstands. So that whenever somebody tries to move it, they drag another piece of furniture they had no intention of moving and inevitably fuck something up. Okay, that might be too aggressive. Guess what? Chicken butt. Wow. Deep, deep words. Robbers, watch out. Is that going to be too steep? Is that going to be too steep? I probably should have built out a little more to find out. Let's see. I'm going to go up one, two more, and then I'd probably go straight for a while and then go down. It's not like too steep. Hmm. If I did it every six, I'd only have four. I think this is fine. Let's keep doing this for now. You could make it so the rise decreases over time, right? 
Well, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have the rise stay steady. But then once we get to a point like, uh, I think one more taller than we're at now, I will instead, let's see, one, two, three. Okay. I will instead go straight for uh, a longer stretch. And we'll see how that looks. Basically what I'm going to do is, okay. So now that we did that, let's go over here. And then, assuming this is 37, I need to cut it to 36, so it's divisible by 6. So we're going to start... No, wait. I want to start here, but it stays at that height. So 1, 2, 3, and then up 1. Okay. Uh, oh, I've run out. It would seem I've run out of bricks. Uh, annoying, but here we go. Green guy says, I've been trying to think of something cool to say for this message, but if I keep that up, it'll be three months already. So <laughs> thank you very much, green guy. What a cool message. What a cool message. Whoa, I almost fell. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I really got to get rid of that trader. He's going to annoy the piss out of me otherwise. So we go up one more and then we go straight for a while. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Cool. Oops. Ah, let's just grab all of them. Okay, so up one more. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one. Oh! Two, three. One, two, three. One. Then we go straight across. And eventually I'm going to break everything that's underneath this, of course, because that just would not do to have that underneath it. But I want to be able to just quickly jump in the river once I'm done breaking it. So I have left it for last. Now then, can I duck under this? Yes, great. Let's start breaking. Music's kind of getting funky, huh? Silent Eric! Thanks for being a Rosader. Why are you so silent, Eric? What great crimes have you seen? What darkness have you foretold? It's a misnomer. Oh, I see. My favorite kind of gnomer. What aesthetic is he going for with this bridge? You'll see when it's done, Ain. You will not know until it's complete. Such is my masterpiece. Such is my genius. Geniuses are oft misunderstood. Chippy chippy chapa chapa dibi dibi daba daba magical me bobby daddy boom 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 boom. Thank you, Kim Visuki, for being a burzer. Miss Nomer, is there a Mr. Nomer? Says June Giovanni. Oh, you're gonna have to ask Miss Nomer. It's getting nice and chilly in here. I'm loving it. Oh man, the vibes are getting immaculate with this music. Just chopping away at bridges. Two months of hating you. Not planning on stopping any time. Well, well, give it time. Give me time to disappoint you and we'll see. Cheer says, one, two, I'm back on you. Thank you for the delicious soup and for the earworms for everybody else. You truly are a terrible creature. And I love that.
Dum 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 dum. I'm immune because I don't get the reference. You're immune for now. Always remember that immunity only lasts so long until I enlighten you with the cursed knowledge. And then, much like a Lovecraftian novel, you will never ever escape. The cruel manifestation of that damn song. It's giving jokes on you because I can't fucking read. <laughs> I just accepted it as part of my personal hell. I'm glad to hear that, meow meow pal pal. You've done the right thing. Wee! Splish! <laughs> ah! Hey, what's up, chump? Baby zombie drowned. What a terrible concept. A drowned baby. Only the finest soup for the worst idol. Give me that fucking slash affectionate. You don't have to do that. You can say you hate me. It's fine. I get it. Fuck, I hate me too. Hell, I hate all of you. <laughs> slash Syriot. <laughs> Thank you for the soup. Just like I'll enlighten you to the loss of the game. Well, the urchin of cheese. You see, I have never lost the game. In fact, I won the game the moment I heard of it. Why, you may ask yourself, how is this possible? How could you have won the game? It is an unwinnable game. There's no such thing as winning the game, for if you think of it, you lose it. However, consider this. If you're playing a game all by yourself, are you not the sole player, therefore the only winner? If I'm the only person playing the game, I've already won the game. And if I'm the last person who has heard about the game at that very moment, in the split second that I'm being told of the game, I am the last player alive because everybody else that's ever heard of the game has thought of the game at this point, meaning that I'm the only person alive who has not thought of the game, which makes me the winner. Take that. We, you, I freed you from the Roko's Basilisk of the game. You were all free. Everybody who's ever heard of the game has technically already won the game. You win. You did it. You don't have to live in fear anymore. That's right. Your savior, Crimson Fucking Ruse, has come to save your life once again. You may bow in gratitude and supplication. Oh, hey, gold. Ah! <laughs> I hate you so much I save you. Listen, it's not... I, I see what you're saying. You're being sarcastic. You think I'm like, oh, look at him. He's being nice. Oh, he sure hates us. And then you're doing air quotes with your fingers. All right, wise guy. Listen, first of all, you're going to have to pull your fingers right out of the air and put them back up your ass where they belong. <laughs> that's fucked up and evil to say. <laughs> Did I... Yeah, actually, no, that's actually a pretty good insult. I take that back. That was actually pretty fucking clean. I implied you're sitting on your fingers and that you're a sarcastic asshole. I didn't save you because I'm trying to be nice. I saved you so you owe me one. I saved you so that at your most, at, at my most desperate, I could call on you to be a Karibo-esque bullet sponge for me. I will say to you, remember that time you almost lost that stupid children's game and it got in your ear like a, like a, like a brain worm and I pulled it out like some sort of beautiful mama bird cleaning the parasites off of her children? Well, now you owe me. I'm going to need you to stand in front of this rocket launcher. That's equivalent exchange, right? Ow! Ooh, close one. Holy mixed metaphor, Zephyr! You're welcome. Oh! 
Let me nap. Ugh. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I am so good. Ardenay said, I thought you were so good you'd never find yourself in a desperate situation. I am that good. But you always plan for every eventuality. That's how you never end up in a desperate situation. Uh. Hey! Get off my lawn! These fucking zombies, dude. How'd you even get over here? Fuck out of here. Dick. Uh, Ruse, what's your favorite Malifor? You know, like, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Mine is a million watt shit-eating grin. I don't know, but I like that one. I've never heard of that one. I like that one a lot. A million watt shit-eating grin. He had an electric shit-eating grin. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. Let's get a good look at this little uh, little fucker from a distance, shall we? Uh, little fucker slash positive slash positive. <laughs> okay, let's go look at this. See how we feel about this curvature. The Garfunkel. I like. It's not rockets or ooh, that's a really good one. That's a really good one. Thanks for being a Rosator, Garfungal. Obviously, I need to cut these down and make those um blah, 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 planks as well. But here's the thing. I am pro wait a minute. Hmm. So, hmm. I've created a problem for myself. So, here's the thing. Um, on this part, this part, this part, and this part, I can't do what I was initially going to do. What I was going to do was... Hmm. So, what I was going to do was I was going to... um put stone blocks as the borderline to it. But now I can't do that. It has to be slab stone. Because otherwise it'll it'll hover. And that won't make any sense. Also, I can't use fences now. That's okay, though. Okay, I'll figure it out. Let's just start working on it, and we'll decide what looks good as we go along. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the underneath arch as well as we travel along this path that we have made for ourselves. Uh, I kind of want to do, like... I kind of want to turn this into some terracotta and get rid of this segment here because it's too long looking with this. I don't like this being here. There we go. That should even it out some. Mm -mm. Meow meow pow pow says As an artist I find the fuck it let's try something method pretty useful Listen I love the fuck it let's try something method as much as the next person But as a non-artist it scares the absolute shit out of me to do that uh, So you'll have to bear with me as I learn to stop being an absolute uh, coward baby yeah, That's music's chill Oh, well. Ah! Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> oh, give me. Stop falling. Please. Thank you. Okay. 
cool. So now that that's evened out, let us start with our side railings. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to switch over to the alpha Minecraft music. We'll do alpha album. Good night, Akai. Uh, hmm. Okay, knowing what I know now, first of all, I'm going to drop this. I could do raw stone slabs, but I really kind of want to go for the stone brick slab style. Let's just do it fucked on those. Because they're pretty versatile, too. And then I want to grab, like, I don't know say like uh 32 of these and then we'll do stone stairs as well okay let's work with what we got here um okay hmm Ah, shit, that's right. Fuck. God damn, I fucked up. Hmm. Because you can't combine slabs. Hmm. Oh, uh, well, here's an idea. All right, so instead of doing this... Instead of doing it like this, what I think I'm gonna do is I am going to... Break. I'm gonna break this. Would that work? If I break this and replace it with stone, I can put stone on top. Hmm. Hmm. So what I could do, right, is I could cut that out, leave this here, go up one, go straight, 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 but leave the br the wood down into here. So on the inside, it's going to look like there's this little lip here that continues onward, right? It's going to create this nice, I think, I think this is the move. I think this is the move. Goodbye, season salt. And good luck. Is that going to look weird? It might look a little weird, but it'll be all right. And then what I could do... Oh, and then for a visual interest outside the bridge, what if I put stair blocks every once in a while? That could be kind of cool. Like, instead of having... Because these are going to be full blocks, essentially. Right here. Instead of leaving them as full blocks, I could turn them into backwards stair blocks or something, like where they face inward. Like so. I'm trying to imagine that in my mind. Kind of nice. I could also do that so it's more interesting from the inside since, you know, you want the bridge to look cool while you're crossing it. But on the other hand, it's going to look very flat from the outside if I do it that way. But basically what that would look like is something like uh, if I got rid of this and I put, I don't know, something like this, this, and then that. And then this would be a regular block, right? So you'd cut this down. And you'd have something that looks like that on the bridge itself. One time I made a bad joke about an axe and nobody laughed. It was very cleaver. I don't get it. <laughs> no, I get it. Very good. Very good. Wow, you are so cleaver. Of course, the problem with this is that I would have to 
then go straight along this line. It would, hmm. No, 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 no. This is still right. This is still right. Okay, so we do this. Huh. Up one. I think that's still right. Uh. Yeah, I mean, that'll work. And then we can do our underneath. Okay, okay, cool. So, easy peasy. This is fine. We're still doing it. We're going to make this work. We're going to do it this way. This is what I think I like. This is what I'm going to do. This is how I feel about it. It is just what I feel like doing, and it's what I'm going to do. And if it doesn't end up looking good, we can always reset it and do it again, just like I did with the roof. Uh, and it will be what it is. Ooh, that wasn't right. Shabba dabba doo. Why wasn't that right? Oh, because I can't do it on this one. I'll try. Can't do it on this one because this is a regular half block. I have to do it on this one. This one can have the backward stare. <laughs> okay, and then eventually what we'll do is we'll put up like little fences or something on the ones that don't have that. Like if I put it here, it's just gonna hover. So I have to have it on these ones, which is where we'll probably end up putting our torch stands as well. Right? Or lanterns, whatever we end up going with. Night, Sarah! It's not bad. It's very classic Minecraft, but that's not a bad thing, necessarily. Um, I could even get rid of this one, because it doesn't have to be here, and it kind of just connects with this in an annoying way. Whoa. I got rid of this one. I got rid of this one. And I left the... Oh, and then it creates a weird gap. That's a bummer. Because that would look good. But I don't love that gap. Well, maybe we leave it like that. Hmm... Not as fancy as I would have liked, but it's still good. The problem with this bridge is that the the rails are more or less useless. You can easily walk off them. Like, they don't even hold you in, technically, because they're not high enough. <laughs> which I guess does make it a five-wide bridge, which means you do have more space, which is nice. But you would definitely tumble off the edge if you uh, weren't playing carefully. Which I guess is your own fault. Maybe I don't give a shit. Maybe I don't give a shit. If someone falls off, that's their fault. True. Skill issue. Ah, tasty. All right, back to work on the bridge. Another day, another bridge. Give me my dirt. I hate it here. All right, whatever. What I could do is get real fucking fancy with this upper area in some way. Maybe make like a pillar rock or something. I don't know. Because like if this one is... If this one's the true one, then this one's a half block that's incorrect. Which is a huge fucking bummer. Because this is a huge section I can't do anything with. I can't do the stairs. I can't do the designs. No! Fuck! Okay. That changes things a bit. Okay, what if I do it by sixes? Six, which would be no designs on that one. Six, there would be designs on the second one. And then I would have to do this one. And there'd still be no... Fuck me. Okay, hold on. Marino, Pina, welcome to being a Rosader. Mm, damn it! 
Oh, man. All right, I got to think. I got to think. I got to think. Good luck with grass. I, hmm. Ah. Hoisted by my own petard. Wait. What if I just do it anyway and I just don't give a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I just say I don't care. <laughs> and then I just do it. <laughs> cool. Oh, a war in Guild Wars 2, you say? What war are you fighting? WVWVWVW, perhaps? I remember the early days of WVWVWVW. Oh, how I miss it. Before there was the meta of death balling and people actually played like they were trying to play a fucking game. Man, let's go back to those days. I would play Guild Wars 2 if it felt like it used to. Gabby Yabby Dabby says, gotta go now. Hope you have fun and finish the bridge. Good night, Resaders. Good night, Gabby Yabby Dabby. For some reason, I feel like I'd say that like body yaddy yaddy. I don't know what it is, but I feel I must. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I mean, it's simple. But it does what it's supposed to do. And I really love that about it. And then when we do our arch, we're going to do a harsher arch because we're going to use upside down stairs. So it should connect about... Oh, that's too far. Maybe I'll connect it from here and then down, essentially. Or I could do a diagonal, maybe. Hmm, we'll see. I like the medieval feel. Same. I'm trying to avoid going too, too, too medieval since, uh, you know, the criminal's cut. It, it's it's lacking in technology compared to, like, the tavern that Armus hangs out at, for example. Obviously, Armus's tavern has a little more tech because we have a little more resources with our bounty hunter budget. The one that Gerard ended up buying with uh, his daddy's money or whatever has, you know, it's got, like, pipe works and working, like, plumbing and it has electricity in it. Uh, and at least gas lamp type stuff. But this... Uh, this is definitely uh, out and out there. The criminal cut's a little more, a little more rugged. <gasps> ah, fuck! I did it wrong. Ooh, ah, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I know what I did wrong. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, altering slab stairs do go hard, don't they, Jordan? You know what? Before I fucking forget, holy shit. I keep saying I'm going to do this and I keep forgetting. Hold on. Where did, where did, where did you go? There we go. Yeah! Like I said, dog, look at my architect. That bridge is fucking falling. Wait a minute. It's fine, okay? I'm going to figure it out. Don't be a baby. 
Don't be a little baby, Haka. I'm gonna figure it out. Also, you never said how was your how was the, how was how was the crowbar? Wow, words really struggled to find my fucking mouth there for a second. That was impressively stupid. Um, but anyway. Was so sick. I'm so happy. Whoa, whoa, relax. <laughs> Hold on. I don't need. I don't need a moment of actual vulnerable happiness out of you. That's disgusting. You know how I feel about that. No, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's cute. That's good. I'm glad. Shit, I fucked that up. I wasn't supposed to do that. <gasps> oh, sorry, dog. It was alright. <laughs> Nah, nah, that's that's fun, that's fun. I want to watch the VOD, but I also want to know what's the general structure? How does that work? What are you doing? Is it just like a talk show? Is it an interview thing? Are you is it like a podcast? I haven't I have I've done very little spoiling myself on it. Oh, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Tasty. I want this to look. Maybe I'll do like hanging lantern type of deal off of these. We'll see. Uh, goodbye to those leaving. Hello to those joining. See you in hell to everybody else. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's right. I said what I said. Catch the jet. Oh. oh no, that was right. I, I was right to do that. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, cool. Uh, blanket is out of the dryer, so it's officially EB time. Goodbye, Crystal Sunny. The BGM is so brutal. A great fit for cozy building. Mm, 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 mm. The type bridge. Yeah, it's a little crying emoji bridge. Welcome in, Ari. Ari, 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 Ari. You know, for now, I'm just gonna stick torches on the sides of this, or I can't do that. Uh, I'm gonna put them. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. What are the chances something spawns right here, right? Right? I mean, come on. Come on. The Wailing Bridge sounds like such a cool idea, though, says Mumei. Oh! Nyan beans. Thank you for the delicious soup. 
I will use that to for bridge funds. I will use that to continue my work on this bridge. I was about to say we've we've run out of we've run out of delicious chip funds and we can no longer pay the workers and snacks. But you have saved me this fate. Truly, you are a hero. How are we feeling about this? I mean, I like the look of it. Honestly, it kind of goes hard. There might even be too many torch stands. Maybe I'll do something else with this one or something. I don't know. Maybe the middle one doesn't need to be there. Um, but we'll see. You mean we're getting paid? Are you getting paid? No. Are you building this bridge? No. Night, June Giovanni. G June Giovanna. God damn it. God damn it. That's okay. I'll live. This incredible embarrassment can't halt me for long. <gasps> GL says, I fell asleep. The vibe's too chill and cozy. Did we win at Minecraft? Yeah, actually, I beat all of Minecraft. It's over now. It's over. You've witnessed the very end of all Minecraftia. Well done. Um, so it's this, stairs, this, that, this, stairs, this, stairs, this, that. I don't love that this ends in stare. But I also don't hate it. It's for... <gasps> My beautiful, perfect stone. <gasps> Ruined. Oh, Nitsuki, thank you for all of the delicious chips, and thank you ever so much, Jill, for the soup to, d to dip those chips in. Maybe I want to make these out of wood. Maybe they're too tall. I could do copper again. I don't really use copper a lot. Copper or like lightning rods with uh, lanterns on top would go kind of hard. Of course, then I'd probably have lightning striking my bridge and that would not go hard. Wait, it can't rain out here, so it wouldn't matter. Oh, but it can rain in the river. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions. Oh, bridge building, how you vex me. My dirt. Good night to those blinking. Bye bye. I'm just gonna put you in here. Oh, I had to cook it. Uh, okay. Good thing I cooked all that stone earlier, huh? I foresaw this. Gun bear. Gun bear to you as well. Good luck at work. Ah, piss! I did that wrong. <laughs> 
it okay? Okay, wait a minute. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's making something happen. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Nice. Nice. Hey, I'm going to be exactly one slab short here. That's great. That's a good feeling. We love the feeling of being exactly one slab short. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I guess I could dive in the river and see if any of that I dropped are down there, but then I have to deal with all the drown and... Uh, I'll just make a new slab. Suffer. Hey, Muse Wallace, I'll make you suffer. Yeah. Okay, anyway, so that's... This is the basics of what I think our bridge is going to look like. Uh, this is barring, of course, the support arches underneath. I don't hate it. I don't know if I love it yet. What do I feel like you're missing, bridge? Well, yeah, it's missing the support beams, but it just feels a little simple right now. A little dull, if you would. I don't hate it looking head on. It's just from a distance. It's like, eh, maybe the outside needs some sort of like decoration. I could do upside down stone stairs. Actually. Let me test something real quick. Trying to envision things I could do on the sides here. I could do fences. I could do walls. I could do upside down stone stairs. The upside down stairs could also serve as the position where I put the lanterns. So instead of having them here, I could put the stairs out and set them here. that I think that's pretty good and then it creates some like wings on the stairs so when you're standing on it it creates like you know what I'm, it creates like a field of view of interest it doesn't feel like this bridge just suddenly abruptly cuts off here like there is structure on the side of it you know what I mean I think that's the move I think this is what we're gonna do 
Can things be hung off of upside down stairs? That's a good question. Um, I am not an expert Minecraft builder. Uh, but I have to imagine, right? Like, probably. So we could certainly try. That being said, I cannot do that on the middle segment, sadly, as much as I really, 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 really want to, because it is a half block. So, like, <laughs> the stairs won't hang. Wait, it doesn't matter because I built these. I can do it. Also, I just sneeze like a fucking kitten again. God damn it. Hello! But then what would I need these for? Why would I have these pillars? I want some sort of, like, thing here on the bridge that... I don't know if I want it to be that tall, though. So maybe it's for the best that I do this way. Let's take these down. No! Okay, I thought I lost it. I thought I lost you forever. No! Ah! Well. Well, thanks for the blessings, everyone. I didn't know you were priests. Woohoo! Wait a minute, this goes this goes kinda hard. This is kinda fucking cool. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. 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 I kinda like that. Let's see what it looks like from the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's missing stuff on the sides, basically. And then maybe we can hang some banners off of it, too. Possibly. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these little guys, though. Can be taller so the banners don't touch the floor. Oh, you want to do the banners on these pillars, is what you're saying. I was thinking hanging the banners off the back end of them. But even then, the problem with the banners being on these is that the banners won't actually touch the fence post because it's fence post and not um a square block. So it'll still just be hanging in air, which I don't love. So I'll probably be putting the banners on the side of the actual thing. Uh I might even put them on these lips here. We don't I don't know yet. I could do that, Ivory, but that creates a very, like, druid, naturalistic look, which, while I very much enjoy and would do just for aesthetics alone, it would kind of kill the whole Badlands vibe, right? I mean, I'm already probably wrong for putting a bunch of uh, glowberries in the tavern at all. Oh, this frees up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. So now the only real issue is that there's not a lot of visual interest at this point, and these might be a bit excessive. Having these two here, I don't know if I love that. I don't know if I love that. What if I tried to turn this into something else? Maybe. Maybe even did another one of these. Hey, OJ Bo. Gotta figure out what to do with these two. Hmm. 
Viewing deck? I mean, not possible. Be cool to stare out of the water from here. Oh, well, that was simple, but it looks nice. I like the feel of that. Ooh, this song goes. What is this? Wow, this is nice. I could also grab some chiseled stone and see what I can do with that. Huh. Smo says, build the Bloodborne Bridge. Boo! Why not build the Dark Souls 3 Bridge? Didn't think about that, did you, Smo? That's kind of just weird looking, huh? Does that kill the vibes? Chains for why for you? Senpai, how's it going today? I see that you are inside the tavern. <laughs> We're working on a bridge now. I'm trying to decide if I like the aesthetic of it or not. I think I like it. Thanks, Sarah Phalanx. Sarah Phalanx says, congratulations, Ruse, on the uh, interview. Thank you. With crunchy roll. Very nice bar. Ah, arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs> it's kind of cool, I guess. It's a, it's almost a little too ostentatious for a little bar out in the middle of nowhere, but maybe they burnt a lot of money on it. Maybe they were making a lot of money. And I mean, they it is a really nice bar on the inside. Maybe the amount of money they make off the criminals here, they try to make it look kind of high class so it's less questionable that they're running this kind of business out here. It kind of looks monolithic, even though I use such simple materials. Isn't that weird? I thought it was going to look a little boring, but now I'm like, oh, well, now it looks a little too intense. But it's pretty cool, I guess. Not the money laundering lore. I don't think I like these. Ah! ah, well. Yeah, it, it breaks it up too much to have a square coming in uh, too high up. Honestly, I think maybe this breaks it up too much as well. Or, you know what I could do is instead of putting it up. That's not bad. I think I like that better. Too bad I lost that one in the river, huh? Yeah, when I put it on the little, like, fence post, I feel like it gives it a, almost like a religious bent. Like, it feels like perhaps a area of worship or, or like, a, a small, like, deific structure of some sort it feels less like a cool bridge accent and more like a small shrine to something now where did it go in the wall oh there you are Froya says, will you connect the bridge at the road later? The road hasn't even started yet. The road's probably going to start from the bridge. So, yes, uh, I will be doing that. 
The road's gonna be a little annoying to make. Usually if you're just in a grass or dirt biome, it's pretty simple to make roads. What the hell? Uh, you know what? I'll leave it. I don't care. Because all you have to do is uh, take a shovel with you. It's gonna be a little more annoying to make this road, unfortunately. But we'll make it work. What would our Amen version even be? Well, it would not be Omen, as much as I like playing Omen in Valorant. <laughs> ramen? No, not ramen. What is dead may never die. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Gomen. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to the gods. Sorry we're awful. <laughs> Go man aside. Hi, Rus. My friend says that your stream's got him back into Minecraft. He'd like to thank you, but he's shy. He's watching right now. All right, J Bo. Well, thank you for the message. Thank you for the soup. And I'm sorry to your friend for ruining their life. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hopefully they're enjoying it. Ow! All right, we're just gonna have to stick with what we got. I mean, I did the whole fuck it, let's just figure it out thing, and this is what we ended up with. So this is what we're gonna go with. I think I wanna do dark wood stairs underneath as my support beams. So we're gonna get to work on that as well. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna create the rounded version of it yet, but I think I have an idea. Zombie in my house. You son of a bitch. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I keep forgetting to kill that guy. Gotta remember to kill that guy. It's a weird thing to say. I gotta remember to kill that guy. You're gonna regret that. I'm gonna make you regret that. Hee <laughs> hee, just kidding. Twas I in your walls. All right. Hey! Well, that was good reaction time. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door and the undead are just waiting for you. <laughs> Minecraft is a horror game. So I think I want to start there. No, I don't. I lied. That also reminds me, I'm gonna need to go get uh, more stone slabs real quick. Hold on, I gotta go get more stone slabs, one sec. Wow! Let's just make a bunch of stone slabs so I have enough to fuck around with. And then let me, real quick, I gotta think, I gotta cook, I gotta think, I gotta cook. I'm cooking, my brain's cooking! Ah, right, that's what I needed. Wow. 
Where is that annoying spider? Let's go find out, shall we? Spider, I have come for vengeance. Kneel. Thank you. Is Minecraft dystopian horror or isekai? Yes, sir. It sure is. I am going to carve the fuck out of this wall in a bit. Just thought you guys should know. Got it. Shit. Hold on, am I doing this right? Let me think. So, 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 oh, 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 that was close. Woo! Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, what we're gonna do is something like this, right? Is that gonna be too weird looking? Do I need to put another block on top of this? Yeah, I do. Oh. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Ah! Oh, man. Oh, it's such a valuable resource for just building out into the air. Ah. No. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Am I going to hate the way this looks when it's done? I guess we'll find out. Thanks for the vote of confidence there, Muse. You love to see it. something you can't just not go outward
That's a good point, Muse Wallace. That's a good point. Muse Wallace says, I'm going off the, uh, the fact that you ripped out your wall after the first attempt, or roof after the first attempt. True. Uh, do I hate that? It's kind of boring. It's kind of boring is the problem. Bye, green guy. I think I kind of hate that. Damn. Yeah, maybe it's the curvature that I'm struggling with right now. Let's try and curve it a little more now that we've got um, the structure down. Let's do more stairs and less half blocks. I think I was uh, kind of just autopiloting on the half blocks a bit. Let's try curving it a bit more and see how we feel about it. Shit. Well, whatever. I was getting careless. All right. So let's see. Curves a bit. Comes down a bit. Those are gone forever. We'll never, ever see those again. Don't even think about them anymore. There's no reason to even consider them. They do not exist in my eyes. Okay, so. Um, uh, Reminds me of the bridge near the Hoover Dam. I don't know if I know what that bridge looks like, but I accept that as probably maybe a compliment. Ugh, I don't even care. All right, so let's finish this part real quick. So we want to do a stair, right? Ooh, wrong, right. So then this becomes this. And then this has to become an upside down stair. It's not gonna look right. Oh! -ho! Check this out, Minnie. I mean, uh, uh, uh. Michael? Mouse? Aha! Hey, nice boots, dude. Can I have those? Can I have those? Can I have those? Can I ha Can I have those? No? Okay. That's fine. Hey, nice bones, dude. Can I have those? Can I have those? Can I have those? Can I have those? Thanks. What the hell are you doing? Don't you come over here. Guys, I'm just trying to look at my bridge! Look off! Jesus! 
Ugh. So many enemies in a canyon biome. Every time. Idiot. Cringe! You suck! Learn to aim. Boo! Boo! See ya. Oh, you're still alive. Holy shit. Bye. Ooh, arrows. Ow! Maybe I don't want that thick cur er, part right there. Maybe I just want it to curve straight up. Then how do I ease this part down? I mean, I could just fill it all the way in with wood. But then it loses that cool open spot. Plus, I need to put more wood here. Hmm. I don't love it. I think part of the thing I don't love about it is I don't like the plank texture. It feels weird. But I can't just use logs, because logs are straight. And they wouldn't curve. Hmm. Yeah, Chloe, I could do fence, but it's very thin. It'll create a cool mesh, I guess. Like, I could just create a whole, like, triangle of fence. Not even, like, a straight line like I did with that, but fill it all the way in with fence so it creates a mesh. That could work, I guess. Use stone? Mm, maybe. That being a failure is a bit of a bummer and does dampen my mood for bridging. Uh, what about wood arches with fences from the arch to bridge to the to bridge to make a lattice support structure? Mm. The issue then again becomes how do I curve the wood in a way that feels satisfying? You know what I mean? Because like you could do this, but this is a diagonal line. It doesn't curve. Having curvature requires so much distance, I feel like, to make it curve right. In Minecraft, are there other builds you're planning to do this stream? Maybe. If I'm having enough fun, I might. I might keep going. We'll see. How long have I been going so far? Already three hours? Mm. Uh, cringe anime avatar? Bro, did you just say avatar? Uh-oh. 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 Motherfucker jumps into random chats and says the dumbest shit you've ever heard out of anybody's mouth. <laughs> More 11. Stay tuned, chumps. <laughs> Are you okay, buddy? You need a little attention? Come here, champ. Here, nestle in this warm embrace of my coat, you dumb motherfucker. You absolute fucking clown. You little goober. Oh, oh shit, you're using gay as an inside. Oh my god, did you sneak here from 2008? No shot. Wait a minute. Tell me the truth. What are the lottery numbers for tomorrow? Be honest with me. <laughs> oh my God. This little goober came in here and really thought he was going to rile somebody up. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Go on. Throw me another one. Give me another cute one. Come on. One more. One more. Please. Please. Say something funny. Please. I'm sorry. I just failed building a bridge. It, it hurt my feelings. I need your help. Make me laugh again. <laughs> Why'd you stop? Come on, Deez. You got the world's funniest name, too. Such a clever, original name. Come on, let me get it. What do you got? Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, shit, he shut his mouth. What happened, bud? You didn't get embarrassed, did you? Are you embarrassed? Is everything okay? Well, come back. Did you ban me? No, you're still here. I'm looking at you, champ. Do you want to get banned? I guess I can. All right. Attention time's over. You had your fun. See you in hell, chump.
Bye forever. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Anyway, good luck in whatever cesspool you came out of. I hope that you figure out fifth grade math at some point. Um, I'm sure you got it under control. Good luck. Bye. Wow, that's adorable. Man, I love when people like that come in. <laughs> uh, all right, I feel better about my bridge. I feel better. My life is a little easier now. <laughs> uh, man. Now, what do I want to do with the bottom of this? His life was over the moment he said Avatar. It truly was zombie sleeping. It truly was. Um, is that an anime Avatar? Damn, clean, bro. Hmm. Maybe I just leave it alone. Maybe I don't bother. At best, what I could do is I could maybe build like little thin wooden stone uh fences or what walls. They would look so scrawny, but maybe that would be cool. Maybe the thinness would sell them somehow. Oh, you know what I could do? Check this out. What I could do is on the ones that have the torches, which we know are the ones that are even and can actually have things built on top of them and underneath them, I could build stone fences all the way down, and then I could do wooden fences in between those to create sort of like a connection, if that makes sense, right? How do we feel about that? Yeah, it would create a sort of lattice effect, I think, for sure. Okay, let's do that. Hold on, I gotta restart my music. I like it. I don't know about the wood, though. Well, we'll see, we'll see. It, it might be good. It might be bad. We'll find out. Could do a stone pillar in the middle of the river and then build extra supports off of it under the bridge. So I consider the stone pillar, but the problem I have with that, Don Bay, is that if I do a large enough support beam, the problem I have with that, right, is that I could do a support beam in the middle, right? But it needs to be wide enough to make sense to be supporting something this large or it's going to look ridiculous and scrawny just holding it up by itself. But it can't be so wide that A, it blocks the river underneath and B, it makes it so that it looks like like, the bridge is too short by virtue of how wide the support is. Does that make sense? Hmm. Stone pillar wood lattice? Maybe. Hanging rope. Oh, arches from the cliffside. So I tried the arch from the cliffside. I didn't like the curvature. So maybe, maybe. Oh, sorry, Unitas. <laughs> Big pillars on both sides, suspension bridge. Maybe I should have just done the hanging bridge and done the little rope bridge style, but <sighs> all right, let's try our let's try our fence idea first. We'll see how that goes. Oh, that is not enough. Oh, 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 I'm gonna have to cook so much stone. Um, that's fine. Oh, and what color do we want to do for the wood fence? Not acacia. I don't want to use oak again. And I feel like birch is too bright. So it's either gonna be jungle or dark oak. Probably dark oak. Love Crafty and Omega says, you talk like my husband when it comes to design. He's a civil engineer. Made me chuckle to myself. <laughs> I actually don't have any pink wood right now, but I would, Juju. Uh, I am no engineer. Trust me on that. Good night, Metropolitan. Hmm. Sp oh, I wish I had spruce. I don't, Vad. Spruce would be good. I really like the color of spruce wood, too. Hey, oh, Dragon Rider, welcome in. The bridge is straight, but the underside is curved. Oh, wait a minute. 
Jan Luo Anthony says, most of the bridges that I have seen in the game, the bridge is straight, but the underside is curved. What if I did a straight support beam all the way across, made of like logs, and then I did lattice work up from the support beam under the bridge. So there's like a lattice underneath the bridge, almost like an upside down hanging bridge. Would that be weird? Like I could do fence work underneath the bridge to create the lattice. And it would save me a ton of stone. Uh. Okay, so let's do dark oak for, do we want to do dark oak for the lattice work or dark oak for the, dark oak for the logs, oak for the lattice work. So oak fences. Oh, I did that wrong. You know what? That's okay. Let's see how far this gets us before we do anything else, yeah? Yeah. All right, let's go. See you later, Kiko. Hope you get better, dragon. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Same. <laughs> Same. I hope you feel better. All right. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is build. Oh, that's going to be annoying. I got to build all the way across, don't I? How low do I want this to be determined? It's going to be determined by how high do I want the lattice work to be, which is going to be more fences. Uh... You missed it a little bit, Wawa, but that's all right. It was funny all the same. Um, I think down here is far enough, right? Let me just see what that would look like. Once we get to the upper part of the bridge, I think that'll be fine. I'm gonna have to build more um, brick though. For the parts that are like here, and there, and the main part, because I'm gonna have to draw out the bottom of the bridge, which is gonna ruin the curvature a little bit, which is kind of annoying actually. That ruins the curve of the bridge underneath. Maybe that's okay. See you later, right? Hey yo, welcome in. Okay, let's see here. Ugh. Oh, what the fuck? Huh? Oh, <laughs> it was the music. I was like, what the fuck? On the upside, that only took about 30. It's not too bad. And then we do the fence work all the way up to the top. And let's see what that looks like, shall we? Oh, no. That doesn't work there, though. <gasps> Can I reach that from here? Yeah! I didn't bring any stone. Fuck! My pain. All right, that's fine. <sighs> wow, KFB Spidey, thanks for the gifted memberships. Nom 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 nom. I 
don't know what the hell just happened to you. Uh, but bye. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a message. I was about a, a half of the way through it, and it disappeared. What is happening? Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a second. Yum. I know. I missed it. I was like, wait, what was the message, though? I want to know. But I still want to know. Um. All right. Let's just clear that out. Fast as light. Somebody's watching now. One of the managers is like, wait a second. <laughs> Maybe I clowned a little too hard on that one guy. Maybe a manager had to come in here like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you can't be doing that. <laughs> I don't know if that happened, but uh oh, sorry if that happened. Mane san, <laughs> my bad. Another one. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, maybe I'm fucking around too much. <laughs> I'm only going to do about halfway down the bridge so I can see what this ends up looking like. I don't want to do it all the way in case I don't love it. Well, we'll do it all the way to the midpoint. How about that? We'll see what that looks like. There is no message that somebody is handling banning and they're doing it fast, which is kind of wild. Maybe it's for the best. You know how it is when you get into Minecraft. Sometimes you just get a lot of little kids or just people trying to piss off kids. Who knows? People with no hobbies. All right. What's this going to look like when I'm done with it? Uh, are we almost across? We are. I have enough fence work to make this? Uh-oh. You know, we might have uh, to limit ourselves not by virtue of temperance, but by virtue of scarcity. Uh, ooh, that's kind of interesting, though. I kind of like the way that looks already. Let's jump down and go take a look. Wait, I don't even have to jump all the way down. I can just do this. <laughs> nice. Let's go take a look. It's true. I fed the Rosaders for a week with your one catharsis moment. You're welcome. Ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. It's not bad. It's a little modern looking, but not in a bad way. Yeah, I like it. I think I like that. That'll work. Yeah, that I might add something like uh, trap doors along the log itself to look like some sort of like binding, maybe like, you know, multiple logs tied together or something like that. But we'll see. I'm going to need more dark wood and a lot more oak fence, unfortunately, which means I am finally after years of having oak running low on oak. Oh, right. Oh, wait. How did this get split up so bad? Never mind. Maybe I have way more dark wood than I thought. Nice. The lattice work for those sneaky people who want to crawl, uh, bypass the top of the bridge. Exactly. Uh, Bungo Stray Kid says, you drinking that water today? Never. Yeah, I've had a little bit, a little bit, but I'm mostly drinking stamina potion at the moment. Onda Toru. Whoa, like from world famous anime vegetables basket? Num 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 num. Uh, 
Uh, was I grab? Oh, right. We wanted something to break up monotony on the bridge. Uh, let me think for a second. I don't think the oak trap door looks right. Let's take another look at trap doors. Hold on. Acacia trap door could be interesting. Okay, barring trap doors, let me think a little more. Uh, da, 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 da. Stamina potion. Do you make it out of uh, Avanto, Mushroom, and Amelie's? <laughs> Amelie? Uh, that's a RuneScape joke, by the way. I've never played RuneScape. I played Albion. Does that count? Different colors in the lattice. Uh, I like the uniformity of the lattice work. Though, what I could do is a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. I could use... Okay, so envision this with me for a moment. I could put logs vertically every once in a while up into the bottom of the bridge as well. So the lattice work looks like it's clinging to something aside from itself. Or I could do stone up from the support beam, like a stone wall up from the support beam that the lattice work has interspaced. I don't have any vines right now, Don Bay. I do have uh, these uh, glowberries, but no vines. Everybody likes the sound of wood? Okay, we'll go with wood. We'll go with logs. So let's get back down there, and we're going to break up some of the lattice work. I've got to figure out where it's going to be, though. I think the support beam should be... It has to be before the main walkway because the main walkway doesn't actually connect at the bot. Well, I guess it doesn't matter anymore, does it? Since I've created a fake bottom for it. Hmm. All right. So kind of it's just wherever I feel it's aesthetic then. Which I guess right here would be good. Or maybe one more over. Okay, so that's the first torch on uh, right before the bridge starts to even out. So bridge is evened out up until... So this torch... No, hold on. That's the middle of the bridge. Side, side. This torch right here, right? Yeah, I think it's right here. This does, unfortunately, make it uncrossable from underneath, but whatever. Oh, right. Okay, let's go check that out real quick. Go! Blink! Be not afraid! Alright, what's that look like? Hmm. I think I like it. It's pretty good. A wonder of modern architecture! Hey, Roscoe, how'd the rest of Monster Hunter go? Did you end up getting your dick handed to you by random monsters and or, uh, s s 
and not killing, of course, because we don't kill monsters here, but fainting? Did you get fainted by the not dinosaurs? Or did you end up dunking on them? I could do two in the middle if I really want. I could do one right there down the middle, which would break up this little side part. Oh, ho, 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 ho. But then I'd have to ugh, dig my way through, which would be really annoying. Ah, do we want to do one more? Or do we like it with two? One more or two? I'm trying to imagine it in the middle there. I think one in the middle. That could help break up that middle segment a lot too, because it would come down in between that tiny altar. As good as is, one more, one more. There isn't a perfect middle. Is there not a perfect middle on the bridge? Yeah, there is. Let's see, one, skip, two, skip, three, skip, four, skip, five, skip, six. Yeah. Yeah, there's a perfect middle. It's right there. It's right there. I dogged on him so hard, dude. I'm in pain. Help. I've got nothing. I have no painkillers. I only cause pain. <laughs> to those stepping out for the night, rest well. To those coming in. <gasps> God, you have terrible taste. What are you doing here? <laughs> Okay. Boom, bam. If you would raise the wood base in between the two middle supports up a few blocks, it would help the su supports curve with the... Huh? The How? I had a coworker who used to say that all the time. I worked at a, uh... Let's say I worked at a sales shop, and I had a coworker who would say, how? Every time you addressed him with anything. I'd be like, hey, coworker. He'd be like, how? I'm like, you ever heard of this? He's like, how? I loved that old man. <laughs> I don't know if I loved him. He was an honorary piece of shit, but he liked me okay, so he was all right by me. Probably because I'm an honorary piece of shit. Wait, is that not even? You might be right. There might be no true middle. But how is that possible? How is that? <gasps> Something's uneven. There's two bricks here, but one brick here. What changed? Oh, I see what changed. Okay, never mind. I figured it out. <laughs> All right, we can't have a middle sport. You were right. I forgot the middle segment was an even number, so you cannot do that. Wait, what? I think they're saying if you make the middle section shorter, it looks like it curves with the bridge. Well, I don't want it to curve with the bridge. I want it flat. Are you trying to say to, like, raise this middle section up one? I mean, I guess I could do that with the oak stairs. Hmm. Night, gamers. I wish you a bad night and horrible dreams. <laughs> but if I pop it up one, it's going to look like the, the tree isn't straight. And then also, there's going to be this weird, like, squared off gap right there. Where it's like, oh, there's just nothing. And then corner, there's some. I could put them on top of each other in some way. Like, I could start the second part of the bridge here instead of here, right? and then have it go across as if it's resting on top of these two supports, and then maybe add trap doors to look like it's rope tying it together. But then what kind of support is that? It just looks like it's hanging down from the bridge. Hmm. Azu, welcome to being a Rosader. I don't know yet. I'm going to have to cook on this for a second. I, I could try the... Hmm. Go ahead. 
go lattice all the way down to the water? No. Because then you couldn't sail under the bridge. We don't want that. Put a water elevator. No! No, if you fall, I want you to suffer. If you fall, that's your fault. I want you to have to climb back up the hard way. I want you to do the climb of shame if you fall off that bridge. That's why I punched Gerard off of it. One more row of stone at the bottom. Like stone brickwork? As if the stone was holding up the wood? Maybe. Nah. I think I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to make that lattice work. And then I'm probably going to repeat it on the other side. We'll call the bridge done for now. I don't want to get too crazy with it. Try an arch lattice so it's supported to the water and people can sail in. Oh, maybe. Oh, I could do an arch lattice here. Like a diagonal lattice and a diagonal lattice, maybe. Would that be weird looking, though? Neopolitan says, Ruse, are you still down to your past idea of setting houses under there? As in, like, digging into the sides of the canyon and building homes in there? Maybe. It'd be kind of cool. I don't know if I would do it here specifically, since this is where the tavern is, but I might go a little further into the canyon that way, a little further out from where the tavern is, and build a, a little small settlement of people who, like, dig into the side of the, uh, of the canyon itself. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the middle support. I'm going to make that lattice work. And then maybe I'll do diagonal lattice work down. We'll see. Ooh, nice try, little skeleton. Oh, you snuck up on me, huh? You suck! Why are there so many spiders out tonight? What's up with that? This is what I get for questioning the spiders. They send me a baby zombie immediately. They punish me for my questioning. Can you fuck off, dude? You too. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ugh. Dick. Do you think you could give the same? Uh, do you think you could have some portion of the river mouth gated off with a small port town and maybe they control trading on the continent? I could see some sort of river gate. I don't know how it would work yet. What, would I, what I would have to do is create a dam of some sort out of redstone that probably looks more like a net coming up. So it'd probably be like a bunch of wooden fences. Can wooden fences work with pistons is the question. And I'd have to get a lot of slime too. If wooden fences can work with pistons, what I could do is create a wooden fence under the water uh, that then lifts up with, um, you know, piston blocks on slimes to create a sort of net jumping out of the water. Replace bridge with two nether portals? <laughs> that could be funny. You sail into the nether. All right, well, first things first, we got to get rid of the support beam, and then I'll look into the idea of doing, like, diagonal lattice work down from... And we'll see. I skipped for a minute. I did. I crashed for a sec. Whoa. That was close. Woo. Safe. All swelled at inchwell. How far out would I want this to go? Hmm. Let's do oak planks and find out. Maybe starting from like near the support pillar. So it'd have to be here-ish. 
Man, that's gonna be a lot of fence, though. That's gonna be a lot. Like a lot. <gasps> oh. oh. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's about what that would look like. Let's go take a look at what it looks like from above. At some point, I should build proper stairs. That's not today. I should probably build a walkway up and down from the uh, river up to the top, but I don't want to do all that right now. Ooh, that's not bad, actually. And it does create that curvature we were looking for. It creates the illusion of curvature at the very least, right? Mm. Nice, Nista. Yeah, I think I like it. I think I like it. Okay. Cool. So starting from one block away underneath the nearest support pillars where we got to do it. Got it. Do I have more wooden? Oh, good, 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 good. Man, bridge work sure took up a lot more time than I thought it would. <laughs> Okay. Let's go look one more time and then we'll see what we got going on. <laughs> Bridge work? I sure hope so. Azure Ruses. I'm not justifying that with Reed. I'm going to call you, uh, uh, your new name is E. <laughs> e. E Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm feeling it. Nice, 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 nice. Awesome. Good. Well, we finally figured out something we like for the bridge. Which makes me happy. Or at least slightly less pissed off. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're at this level, so we got to go here, right? Perfect. Hey, Pipoca Mama. How's it going? Welcome in. Nice bridge. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Have you seen the criminal's cut? I saved you a room. I've got a room at the very top floor. Very big. Very spacious. Beautiful windows. Everything you could possibly imagine. Also, boilingly hot in the summer because it's in the middle of a canyon. <laughs> With very little uh, moisture in the air. But it is by a river. So I can promise lots of mosquitoes. That's pretty cool, right?
Oh, nice. Looking good, looking good. It's running water. There shouldn't be any mosquito. Well, I mean, even rivers have like stagnant parts, right? And pools that kind of swirl around themselves or pockets that become stagnant water. I don't know. I've been enough around enough rivers to know that they still attract mosquitoes. Not as bad as an actual stagnant pool, but you'll get your share of mosquitoes. Don't doubt. They'll get their blood money. Man, this music's nice. Somehow this is perfect for the environment we're in right now. I miss Canadian winters when the mosquitoes, where the mosquitoes stayed back. Oh. Not a lot of mosquitoes in Canadian winters, huh? Interesting. I feel like any place that gets an okay amount of snow is going to have very little mosquitoes to worry about during winter time. But I could be mistaken. I could just be making shit up. Okay, so I'm out of fences again. Wow, and I thought I made too many. I was like, oh, I made too many today. Nope. I had made more than... Uh, I had made less than enough, rather. Ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, it's yucky. Yuck. Put it back. Damn, why are the music getting so scary now? What is this, a funeral? Man, I wish... Here in the tropics, they're fucking everywhere. Even during winter? Really? Mosquitoes can lay eggs in as little as a cup full of water, so it really doesn't take much water for them. Exactly. See, I knew it. I'm so smart. <laughs> and so humble, too. That's not going to be enough fences, is it? Ah, <sighs> man. Man. There we go. Hopefully I never need fences ever, ever again. No matter what. Forever. Forever. Um, I am going to need to grab a little bit more of this dark oak, though. <laughs> Alright, let's get back out there, shall we? Uh, hmm? tropics are wet, dry, hot, and most of the time, all at once. How do you be wet and dry at the same time? You're just saying stuff. You're just saying words at me. It's Wizard Ale, brewed on my secret mountain. How did you find this place? Goddamn worthy kids goes hard. <laughs> it's humid as hell. Mm -hmm. So it's wet. That's humid. That's wet. Uh! No! I mean, it's fine. Ooh, barely enough, but we made it work. All right, so. Ta-da! And then we just got to go down here and get under that little brick of... Oh, my God. What is? Why is this such a drop? Holy fuck. Uh, all right. Ooh. Well, now I can't even see where I'm supposed to be. F fucking. Ugh. That's fine. We're fine. This is fine. Everything's okay. So we do one. Wait. Okay. So if this corresponds to. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell where that. Hold on. I think we got to go one more. Okay. Nope, one more. Okay, so the pillar connects here. So we skip one, do it here. Right? Yes, good. Go 
Good. Good. Awesome. All right, let's take these back, shall we? I do not like dry heat. I don't know if anybody likes dry heat. I mean, don't get me wrong. Moist heat can be pretty bad, too, though. It makes your sweat feel like it's, like, clinging to you in every pocket of your body. It's kind of gross. But, I mean, dry heat's pretty rough in its own way. Okay. Wait. I gotta do one more. Nice. All right, so that's that side done. Let's get over here and try to... And then I gotta go take a nap, apparently. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, everything worked. Cool. Uh, so we're all set on that side. And I plugged that way back up off okay there we go we gotta take a little nap and then we'll finish up our bridge and then we'll be done with our bridge work and that'll be awesome everybody's gonna be super excited everybody's gonna clap and cheer uh the president of south elysium or king or whatever the fuck is gonna stroll right the fuck up shake my hand clap me on the back say wow crimson ruse you surely are the greatest architect and the greatest hero the world has ever known is there anything i can get for you um, you know, like, a, a sandwich, maybe, or, like, um, uh, more than two dollars. <laughs> How much money do you want? I'm a king. I can give you anything, anything you want, anything in the whole world, whatever you desire. I'm like, mm, two dollars, please, Mr. King, sir. <laughs> Whoa, Claire, I didn't know you were the... President King, the pre the President King of South Elysium. No shot. Do you want Gerard to do that? Gerard is not the President King of South Elysium. Gerard's dad, maybe. <laughs> Gerard wishes he was the President King of South Elysium. No doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Gimme. Yeah. Gimme. Yeah. Yup. Nice. Ooh, I can still get this one. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, it's a little bit mind-boggling doing this upside down. But I think we got it. I think it seems right to me. Let's just double-check my work here. Looks good to me. Wow, parkour! Let's take a little peek as if we were approaching. And we saw this in the distance, shall we? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Yeah! We did it, gamers. We made everything beautiful. Now we just gotta go get a couple uh, banners, and we'll slap that on this brick. Well, maybe the banners will make it look too fancy. Like it's more of a keep than a tavern, you know? Okay, maybe we skip the banners. But I do want to make some lanterns. But how many? How many can I afford? Let's see, if I were to lantern every spot, there was a torch here. It'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. It would be twenty lanterns. That's a lot of iron. I don't want to burn twenty lanterns worth of iron on this. It would be pretty cool looking. Mm. Why not make campfires? Like, brazier type shit? I could do something like that. Where would I put a brazier on this bridge? A brazier would go kind of hard, actually, but where would I put it? I guess right here, maybe? I could do, like, uh, a little bit more outward and then put a campfire embedded inside of it. Hmm. That could be kind of cool. Good idea, 1717. Let me think for a second. Let me cook. 
Okay, so the campfire would sit at the level of the floor here. So I'd either have to prop the campfire up on top of this, thus building up even higher, or brazier. Brazier is a bra. Brazier. Ah, brazier, brazier. It's all the same to me. Whatever. Everything, it would, it, at the end of the day, bolts are created to hold fire. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> My internet died. Self-releasing internet company, please. Hmm. Of course, then I have to get rid of the stair and turn it into something else. Which would be sad. I guess this isn't a stair, though. It's just a half block. But I'd have to build a whole half block higher. That'd be kind of weird looking. It'd be kind of cool, though. Damn. Or I could not build a half block higher. And what I could do... Hold on. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. One second. Uh. Good night, Tsukiko! Okay. Uh, Romari says, hey, Rich, just wanted to say thanks to the Minecraft stream and all of your streams. Love the silly memes. And totally not. Yeah, definitely not wholesome vibes, right? Anyway, thanks for being a Rosader for two months. Um, I will uh, use your support to buy fake carpet that is actually sticky. It's going to be gonna be glue. Yeah, I'm going to put a bunch of glue in a carpet and set it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> As a welcome mat. It's gonna be great. Oh wait, I gotta go get more stone. Hold on. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five. Oh, 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 I got an even better idea. Hold on. I've got whoa ho ho ho! Now I'm cooking with fucking petrol. Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Ah, well, unpop Moki. Thank you to you and Hemi for hanging out and watching my streams. There is no greater uh compliment than saying a cat likes to watch me, right? Probably. Oh, this is gonna be good, I hope. Let's test this out real quick. Ah, shit. Is this gonna work? Well, I guess I don't need these anymore. If I'm doing this. Hold on. Let me cook for a sec. <laughs> I'm so smart. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be good. Would it have to be like this, maybe? Hold on. No, that's not quite right. Hold on. Oh. Ah. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh. 
Oh, wait a minute. This creates an outer lip that I did not mean to have. Do I hate that? I don't hate it, but I don't love it necessarily. But I do like this. This is cool. Yeah, it's going to need uh, underneath stairs, which I'll get in a second. Don't worry. Um, just don't know if I love that lip there. Uh, I guess it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I think I might need to change the stairs angle a bit because I kind of want this to look more like a bowl almost. Oh, a, youch! I kind of want this to look more like a bowl almost. Um, so let's do something like this, right? Where I go out, one, from here, here, here. I thought what this was supposed to do was do this. Uh, that's not right. Ow, stop it. I wanted it to do that, but I think what I need to do is break these. Good progress, says Comet King. Keep up the good work. Always supporting it. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay, okay. It was these. It was these. These were the problem. Got it. All right, there we go. Nice. That looks a lot more like what I wanted. And then I'm going to put support um, stairs underneath these. And if I wanted to, like you said, I could put hay underneath, and it'll create signal fires that create a ton of smoke. The question is, do I want to create signal fires that create a ton of smoke? Why not? Give me these back. Yippee! Ah, uh, it's stormy. Let's take a little nap real quick and then come back to it. Okay, now that I know that that's what I want to do, I'm going to have to build a few more stairs, right? Well, no, I guess I don't need that many. Well, I do want stairs underneath as well, and that's going to be four stairs at minimum. So, yeah, I'm going to need a few more. That's fine. I need the hay bales. I was like, what do I need? Why are these disorganized? Who's been in here? Mm -hmm. and Senpai. <laughs> Will I also build a house for the Rusaders? Mm, no. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Oh. I'm a little low on wheat. I didn't realize I'd been using so much of it. Mm. That's okay. That's what farming's for, right? Let's go farm. Luckily, I have a uh, couple hills full of weed here. Donbe, thanks for being a Rusader. Welcome in. All right. Yeah, I guess I kind of have to leave room for seeds, huh? If I want to replant these. That's what I don't need. I don't need that.
Okay, so now what I need to do is uh, go back to my crafty table, make myself some... What was I saying? Hay bales. I need to make hay bales. Yeah, all right. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, right. That's where all the idols are. Oh, the Hollow Pro members. I keep them in that box. Okay. I should theoretically only need two of those. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't need this hoe. I should have left the hoe back behind, but I didn't. So now we're just going to have to deal with that. Uh, and that's fine. We'll make it work. Is 12 going to be enough? It'll have to be for now. Sure. Let's start by getting underneath here and putting this little hay bale under... Our thing. And then I need to go out one. And. Huh. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And then I need to drop two of these. And one of these? Is that going to be too much? It's not going to work because it'll... Well, ee, I don't love that. I'm going to break that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Okay, cool. So now we know. I need to go get a few more regular blocks and we're good to go. That's a lot of smoke. Yeah, that looks better. Cool. Just like in Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> said every Dark Souls fan ever. Everything's just like in Dark Souls. I don't blame you. That's okay. I like Dark Souls too. All right, so... Good night, Jazz. And good luck. Okay, we take these. Take these. We no longer need them. Uh, we take this down. Is that right? I think we take that down. Yeah, and then we put this up right. And then I take this down. And this down. Ooh, scary. And I take this down. Good morning, Chris. What is Dark Souls? Is that a spinoff of the famously acclaimed uh, Elden Ring? Yeah, yeah. So Dark Souls is like, um, you know, when uh, Studio Ghibli made Elden Ring, Dark Souls is like the ripoff of that. I think it was, um, I, I want to say it was a uh, Sony or somebody like that. No, I'm just <laughs> That's a joke. Please don't come for me from soft lawyers. I was, I was, I was joking. I was joking. Please. Dark Souls is actually a ripoff of um, <laughs> Death Stranding. It's one of the first Stranding type ripoff games. Oh, I'm going to need one more stone brick. That's a bummer. Good, 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 good. That's good, good, good. <gasps> Wait a minute. But the hay will be viewable from the front. Hold on. I got to go back. I got to go back. All right. We're almost done. I promise. I promise. I know I keep going back and doing things. I promise we're almost done. I got to add one more stair. I was going to ignore it, but you'd see the hay from the front otherwise, and we don't want that. 
Um, actually, it's a ripoff of Animal Crossing. All right, Laertes, damn! I'm almost done with the bridge. Woohoo! Okay, so after this, I just gotta get my... What? <laughs> A minor miscalculation. Everything's fine. Uh, after this, I've got to get... Uh... <laughs> I just gotta put the straw underneath and then get the stairs ready. We'll be ready to rock. Oh, I forgot to put, make my last uh, d -d 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 one of these. Bummer. All right, so I got one more thing to do. But I'm on the right side of the bridge for that, so that's nice. Just kidding. Bye. Bye, you useless hunk of... Boom. Terracotta. Sorry, that was the sound of victory. That boom. Oh, almost got trapped in the middle of the bridge. <gasps> they built me inside. <sighs> the bridge is built on the bones of man. Now you will know all that it possesses. Smoke signals! <laughs> Useless hunk? Did somebody call for me? Whoa, that's deep. Well, 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 well. That's a pretty good looking bridge. That's a pretty fucking good looking bridge, I'm not gonna lie. Bruce? Yeah. No, I don't want that. I lied. Mm? No. Mm? No. No, no, no. Mm? Ah, no, no, no. That's a pretty fucking nice bridge. Damn, I wouldn't mind being a troll under that bridge. That sounds like... That sounds like some sort of alternate universe where people have pickup lines specifically for bridges. That sounds like it's gotta be on, like, a My Strange Addiction episode. Like, somebody who's, like, just rock solid for bridges. Like, fuck, I wouldn't mind being a troll under your bridge, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, on the upside, it does mean that I only need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16 lanterns now. Hmm. Bruce, Miss Mercurial. Me when I hide under bridges. <laughs> All right, what's it take to make a lantern again? How much iron is it? Is it like, if it's only four, I could probably do it. Wait, lantern. Oh, it's just nuggets. Let's do it. Fuck it. Okay, that is two so far. And if I need eight per lantern, that's 16. It's, uh, it's you know. Uh, if that's two, then I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we turn all of those into iron nuggets. And then I look for lantern. And then I... Oh, I'm so smart. I'm so fucking smart. I calculated that down to the exact science. Here's a spare soup for the process you made into uh, progress you made in today's Minecraft. Hell yeah! Thank you for the delicious soup, Cheels. Wait until you see my road. You're gonna be like, wow, wow, not enough soup in the world for this motherfucker. He's insane. And I'm gonna say, you're right. 
I gotta sleep. I gotta sleep. Thanks for the soup. Oh, and when I change my map. Oh, when I change my map. Oh, oh, I can't wait. I, can oh, I love maps. I fucking love maps. God damn it. They're so cool. Oh, cartography is so cool. Ah. Oh. <gasps> wait a minute. What if? Okay, wait. Hmm. What if I combine them? Okay, do we want to do just a lantern? Or do we want to do a lantern on a stick? That's a deep question, I know. It's a difficult question. It's hard to answer. But it's one we all have to ask ourselves at one point in life. Lantern? Or lantern on a stick? Can we see both and compare? Yes, but I don't know if moving lanterns works or not. I can't remember. <laughs> Lantern on a stick. Lantern. Taller. Big taller? No stick. What if hanging lanterns off a chain? Well, what I could do is instead of doing a lantern to each of these poles, I could essentially make the pole one taller on this side and then create an archway and then put the lantern in between the two, if that makes sense. So basically this would go up one more stone uh, wall so that it was, you know, equidestant or whatever the fucking word is with this, parallel, uh, equal height, and then go up, up, over, down and then the lantern would be hanging in the middle but but here's the thing here's the thing here's the problem that's gonna like, I know that sounds good in a vacuum but consider this then we're gonna have this big open area in the middle we're essentially gonna create walls on the side that's gonna make these essentially walls while there's gonna be this open area in the middle that has no wall unless I build an arch over here as well but then I'm covering the fire with an arch, which defeats the purpose of having the smoke. You know what I mean? I think I'll just put the lantern. Let's just do the lantern. Ugh. Okay, cool. It landed. Woo. I was scared it was going to fall off the bridge, and I was going to be really, 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 really extra sad. Okay, here comes the sound of something dying. And this song. I remember this song. It got me last time. Why is there two right by each other? Is that right? Oh, that is right. Okay. Shrug. Perfect. Ow. Ah. Yeah, the criminal Scott really ought to pay me for all this work, huh? Goodbye, Ranger Marin. Good luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, wait. You're not allowed to leave yet. Wait until I redo my map. Wait until I remake my little uh, my little map wall. It's going to take two seconds after I look at this from the side. Oh, oh. Now that's a fucking bridge. I could have just stuck with a stupid wooden bridge, but instead I stuck it out. I, 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 I made beautiful works. Beautiful fucking works. Wow, 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 wow. That's a good bridge right there. I like it. I'm glad for our choice of oak and stone. I know it's classic, but I mean, look what you could do with just classic Minecraft. Mm. Chef's kiss. Delicious. Welcome in, Jade Wolf. We just finished our bridge. 
You're just in time. Wow. Wow! Alright, so all I gotta do is pop that map off the wall and pop it back on, and then it'll be ready to rock. So, let me get this out of my hand. Which one is? Oh, this one. Okay, so look at it now. Look at it now. Drink it in. Drink in my little bridge on that map. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Now that's a good bridge right there. That's a good bridge right there. Ah, damn, that's a good bridge right there. Yep. Woo! I love it! <sighs> oh, wait a minute, but you said you just got... You lied to me, Jade. You lied to me. That's so fucking good. God damn, I love. Ooh, I love to make thing. Ugh. I need to cook more stone. I mean, I'm not doing anything right now. Let's just cook some stone while we're fucking vibing. I opened up that whole quarry so that I could cook stone. Why not do it? Sorry, I'm just picking up everything I need to put back and making sure I have it in the correct space in my inventory. Okay, so now I know what it needs to go back into its own little inventories. And then I need to make a new pickaxe because my next point of order is going to be to dig out a road to that bridge. Which will be real fun. And by real fun, I mean it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass, but I'll make it work. And then I'll do the start of a road. Back toward our base. Yeah, back toward the, the, the criminal scut. Keep that wheat, too. Excited for road work? Me, too. Don't know why I'm bothering doing this, knowing I'm about to fill my entire inventory with infinite m amounts more of these, but so be it. Here we go! Oh, not that I sure hope it does. You and your dad jokes. Okay, so, starting out, do I want walls? No, not for the first layer. So for the first layer, I'm going to dig away the wall entirely. Goodbye. Mm -mm. Archways? Nah. This is going to be quite a bit of digging, so we may as well just treat it as just chatting time. How are we feeling about Minecraft progress today? Am I, am I schmoovin' fast enough for you? No? Yes? Maybe? I feel like I'm getting some stuff done. I mean, damn, we set out to do something random, settled on what we were going to do, did our map, did our bridge. Uh, now we're working on the roads. I feel like I'm getting quite a bit done in one day. I'm kind of feeling myself. I kind of feel like I'm in it. I'm in. I'm locked the fuck in. Okay, this is going good, but I can't keep treading this entire peninsula's lines for this one entry. So what's going to have to happen is at some point, I'm going to have to dig into... Well, actually, yes, I can, because there's that much. Well, I guess I can fucking do that. I lied. I was going to say, I can't just dig through this forever, but I was wrong. I can dig through this forever. Yeah, it's my heart, heart palpitations buff. You're right, Monby. Yeah, I guess we did it. We just dug through it. Fuck it. And then I could just dig away some of this so it's not so close to the edge. And then it's a pretty clean uh, break, really. Nice. 
Yeah, I'm digging through the layers of the jawbreaker. You're welcome. Ooh. That's okay. Oh, the daylight passes so fast. Oh, Minecraft, how you vex me. So, now we just need to build an actual, like, pathway from here up to the main area. So we dig one extra down, and then we do, 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 nice. And then extra, 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 bum, 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 nice. Oh, 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 yes, good, 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 Fuck. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah, feels good. It's gonna feel good. That's gonna feel good when that map shows that. Oh, the map's gonna look so good. It's gonna be so cool. <laughs> Night, Arcane! There's a part of me that wants to get rid of this, though, and turn it into regular terracotta so it doesn't conflict with my little road. I think I'm going to do that. Plus, this gives me more road resources for later. I like it. I like it. Take me home, Crimson Road, to the place I belong, South Elysium. <laughs> Desert Mama, take me home, Crimson Roads. Fuck yeah, here we go. Love roads. So cool. No, nope, still doesn't seem quite right. I think I'm gonna have to dig one extra. I think we're just gonna start curving immediately, basically, is what it boils down to. That's okay. Much better. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Now, the only issue is it creates this weird area that feels kind of wrong around this. So I think I'm going to dig this out and make it uh, all part of the road color. So that it creates a sort of like wrap around to this. You might want to look more textured. Maybe like stone buttons on the ground for pebbles or something. Possibly. Ooh. Possibly. Uh, the issue with that is that it would imply that I've just got random pebbles laying around in this. Well, I guess canyons would have a lot of pebbles, huh? It is a canyon. It's not like this is a desert. It should have rock, but it is a mostly clay canyon is the thing. Would it have random pebbles? Hmm. Now I'm struggling. Okay.
Okay. Hmm. Do I love that? Do I hate that? I think I like it. I think I like it. Let's see. I'm coming in from here. Bum, 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 bum. Road! Easy peasy. I like it. Fuck it. And I guess I could create the plaza even larger around this if I really wanted to. I could really get nuts with the plaza. Like, dig out one, dig out more. One more. One more. One. Hmm. Hmm. What about gravel in between the brown? What, just like in random intervals? Or like... What do, you, what do you mean by in between the brown? Because it's going to create these weird gray uh, pathways if I do gravel, just like literally in between it. Uh, and, the gr and the gray is not going to blend in super well with the brown, I don't feel like. If I had gone with like a white cobblestone, that would have worked. Or white terracotta, that would have worked really well. Like this terracotta. I could see the vision you're talking about, though. Ooh, roads! The beginning of road! The beginning of road! Oh, oh. I gotta do something with all this empty space right here, by the way. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I gotta do something. I gotta put like a little shed there or a storage shack or something. Because right now, it's just a weird sort of diagonal yellow spot. And I don't love that. But I do love my bridge and I do love the beginnings of my road. A fountain? Yeah, I could do something like that, yeah. How rich is the criminal's cut? Damn, they got a nice bridge. They got a plaza. They're building roads. Fuck! Now they've got one really, really, really dedicated architect who won't quit. I also think a building here would be good because A, it would show how big the criminal's cut is if it was a smaller building, and B, I could justify having a bunch of torches on it because nothing drives me insane like just layering torches around my area with no purpose. Without, like, fence work around it or something to balance the torches on. I just hate throwing torches on the ground for no reason. See you later, Flora. A mine shaft? Ah, right by a tavern? Would you have a mine right by a tavern? Aquarium? No. Nah. Hmm. Uh, what would I put by a tavern? Slaughter? Nah. Ah. Uh, no, because that would imply the animals are still here. A butchery, so you didn't have to do it in the tavern? Hot spring? A hot spring's not bad. A pond? A hot spring? A hot... A, 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 a bathhouse. A bathhouse. A marketplace isn't bad. A marketplace or a bathhouse? Or a stable! Duh, I said I wanted to do a stable. Ooh, a stable would be pretty cool, too. I think bathhouse first, stable second. How's that sound? Oh, and a well. Yeah, we should have a well here. Yeah, a well would go great here. How would I do a well? I guess I'd do a bucket of water. And then I'd do, like, cobblestone, stairs, and a circle. And then fences on top. With a chain hanging down. Let's do a fucking well real quick. Let's just, let's just slap a well down. Yeah? Isn't it just slap a well down? Slap a well down. Oh, that might be more than enough cobblestone stairs on its own. Wait. Do you want to do cobblestone and make it look like a really ugly, chunky well that they just built on the ground here? Or do we want to do stone brick to keep matching? Hmm. You're right, Gray. That is prime real estate for murder if there's no guards watching. Ugly one, off center well, ugly chunky. Uh, keep matching. Too nice a tavern for ugly well now. Mm. Ugly. Well, I'm seeing a couple of uglies. I'm seeing a couple. Wow, it seems like we're really divided right now. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh. Interesting. 
guess for the sake of matching, we'll do the brick. Though I do have this ugly pillar supporting. Hmm. Let me see here. Let me try something like this. Okay. Okay, I have an idea. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go grab some stone, and we'll get to work on this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so starting with this, let's do No, I want these to be... Hmm. I want these to be corner blocks. How do I force them to be corner blocks? Let me think for a second. If I... If I drop one of these, and then I drop one of these here, and then I delete this, does it stay a corner block? No, it deletes itself. Use stone wall instead. I could do stone wall instead. It's not as pretty of a well, is it? I don't like it. Nope. No. Yeah, I'm still streaming. What do you mean? Oh my God, Rouge, you're still streaming. What are you, surprised? Do you think I was going to stop? I mean, this is your most common well. Kind of boring, though. But then again, it does allow you easy access, which is very nice. And then I could do... Hold on. One second. Oh, it's only been four hours. Nice. One, two. Uh, 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 hold on. I could have swore I had... Oh, right. Hold on. Whoa, 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 Space Cowboy. I'm not in your head. You're clearly just dreaming too much. You need to get... You need to get your dreams clear of me. Stop being so obsessed. <laughs> Fan energy. <laughs> Thanks for the delicious soup, though. Sleep well, Kizuhara. Nice. Okay, so if I pour this at the bottom of the well. Cows! Yeah, we're going to get rid Well, not get rid of, but we're going to relocate those cows at some point. Nice. Okay, so we did that, and now I take a... Whoop, up. 
try something like this and see what this looks like real quick. So we do something like that, that, oh, uh, well, it kind of stands out, but it's, it's, it, it, it's okay. We're fine. It's, it's fine. Fuck, am I out of, fuck! I thought I had more than that. My fear is that the, I'm trying to use the chain to separate things, but it might not work. I might need to make my well a little wider. We're going to find out, though. Um, what I want to do is set these on top. And then do, like, the chain in between without triggering the fences to connect to the chain. Oh, <gasps> it works. Okay. What if I did? Okay, I've got, I've got, someone earlier said, um, if you're iron rich, use a cauldron. So I'm not iron rich, but I think I've got enough iron to make a cauldron. So I think I'm going to make a cauldron and drop it at the bottom down here. But I don't want to plug this back up yet, actually. Oh, a barrel's not a bad idea either. But cauldron will show water in it. So if you look down into the well, you'll see water, which is great. And I might not be iron rich. You know what I am? Stupid. And I'm willing to burn my iron on stupid stuff, so I will. Aesthetics before everything! Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now all I gotta do is go get another chain. Woo! Let's go, baby! I might still change the uh, material of the outside of the well to stone brick, but we'll see. For now, I was testing it with cobblestone stairs. Uh, that is not finalized, and it doesn't have to be, because the, the what matters is that the structure is okay. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, damn, that feels good. Is that orange terracotta? Looks like orange to me. I think so. Anyway. Oh, 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 oh yes. Yes! Zero. Thanks for the... Thanks for being a resader for a whole month. Wow. What do we think, gamers? What do we think? I like it. I like it a lot. Yes! Yes! Shame that hangs off a little bit, but otherwise, very nice. I could get real funky with it. I could make it, like, put this out here and put another two fences down and make it, like, a four-way four fence, but then how would you access the well? I guess. I could break this and make it so this is the way to access the well. Ah! Well, that's annoying. Oh, it doesn't connect. Why don't you connect, you piece of shit? Wait, how did this one stay? Huh? Huh. Weird. I was considering putting a half block here is what I'm saying, I guess. I think I am going to go ahead and go with the brick stairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one half block. Let's see what this looks like real quick, shall we?
I mean... It does give you an access point to the well, but it's still a little weird looking. What if I do... Well, this... Ooh, ooh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Nice. No, wait. Oh, uh, wait. Gimme. I'm cooking. Um. your nasty uh weird gunky water full of full of clay I want that clean well water Ooh! nice 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 very cool let's go there's my well i like it i like it i like it a lot mm, 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 mm. Cool. Got a little well when you come off the bridge. Oh, wow. Fresh water. Oh, I'm so toasty. I'm so parched. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. Gimme, 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 gimme. Delicious. Mm -mm. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, and that smoke goes so... Oh, man! Eat your fucking heart out, Minecrafters. Eat your fucking heart out. I'm an, I'm an architect extraordinaire. I don't even... You know what's funny is I came into this being like, I don't really do much decorating in Minecraft, but man, streaming it, that's totally different. That gets me in the fucking zone. Once I start world building with it and trying to like logic out why it exists, I'm like, damn. That's when I really start getting at it. What about a path to the well? Well, why didn't you just say so? Get it? Because well, <laughs> you get it. You get it. Um. Boom. Boom. A path to the well. Nice! Oh, man. This is good. I'm loving this. Do I want to keep going? Oh, man. Part of me really wants to just keep streaming. I've still got a little stamina potion left. I, I, I want to make a shed. I want to make a bathhouse. Fuck. I'm, ooh, I'm in the... Ooh, my brain is... Ooh, ho, ho. I'm firing on all my neurons. I might have to take a break. I might have to... I, I might be... I think what's happening is I'm in, like, that bloodthirsty zone. You know when you're playing Bloodseeker in Dota 2? Or when you're playing Warwick in League of Legends and somebody gets low HP and you just start running at them whether it's a good idea or not? I think I'm in that zone, but for Minecraft, and I might need to take a step away, breathe, and decide if I'm being an idiot or if I actually want to keep playing. The build lust. Yeah, I hate when I have build lust. It's rough. You know what? Let me step away for a second. I'm going to put some less weird, creepy, spooky boy music on you. And, uh, yeah, I will determine whether or not I'm actually feeling like playing some more Minecraft. Cool? Cool. I'll be right back.
Oh, the build lust for 18 hours sounds brutal, Hazel Knight. <laughs> BRB. And I'm back, baby. Ooh, thank you for the delicious gifted member chips. Um, yum, 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 yum. I'm gonna take that to mean you like Minecraft. Imagine liking Minecraft. Grin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Aura. Uh, okay, so I'm back for a moment. Let's see. Boop, bop. Oh, hey, it's daylight. I didn't even have to sleep. Wow. <gasps> My well. Wow, it's not just an empty expanse anymore. I've got a bridge. I've got a well. Oh. Ugh, what a world I live in. One second, I've got to close my window. Hmm. I left kitty games like Minecraft a long time ago. Now I like big man games. Big boy games like League of Legends. Same goes Nero. Me too. I just... I. Yeah, I just play this because, like, you know, it's, like, popular or whatever. Like, <laughs> I don't I don't like it. It's kind of cringe or whatever. But, you know, this is just, I used to play it a lot when I was a kid or whatever. So I thought it'd be cool to, like, check it out. No, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Man, that looks good. I love that. I don't know if I love my yellow area anymore. I'm starting to debate, debate if I want to change the color of the terracotta to, like, brown. Probably not. But the thought is there, and it's intrusive, and it's annoying. I would have so much to work on and replace, though. Ah, that smoke's so cool. I already forgot who told me how to do the little, like, uh, signal fires, because I did not know how to do that, but great suggestion. I love that. Uh, I knew how to do the campfires, but to turn them into signal fires? Mm, chef's kiss. That smoke going up? Woo! 
dark brown and yellow is kind of jarring. I don't know if that's what you're going for. I not. I don't want it to be jarring, but I want it to be noticeable on a map. I, I kind of feel like replacing all of this with regular terracotta color, though, might be the move. It would help, like, get rid of the... I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's a thing on my map that's kind of annoying me where... um This. This little sliver here is too blatant. And if I replaced it with regular terracotta, it would blend into the rest of the map a lot better. It's like a clear mar or wound on the land, which won't be as bad once I get the bathhouse down and or the stables that I put there. But I think it's the yellow that's the problem, not the brown. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to put right there. I'm going to put either a stable. I think I, I, I kind of want to put a stable here. Uh, or I could put a bathhouse here, but the bathhouse being this close to the cliff seems a little weird. I think putting the stable here would be good because you could just store your horses and stuff after you travel the road because you're going to be using this road to get from here up north into this area, which is where I'll be keeping my pasture and my farm. And also I'll probably put a logging camp around here-ish somewhere in the middle of the forest. Um, so you're probably going to be riding horses back and forth a lot. So I'll need a stable up by the pasture and I'll need a stable down here by the, um, tavern itself. I think this is going to be for stable. And I think this area is probably going to be for bathhouse. Once I get rid of all the um, animals here and move them up to the pasture, which is going to be a long journey, but I'll do it after I finish my road. I will put a bathhouse here. And then this, I don't know what I'm going to do back here yet. And a little further south, just off the map, I'm going to go ahead and put a little fishing shack right here. It'll be great. Peach says, do the Hollow Boys share a Minecraft server? We sure do. Actually, Autodine Senpai uh, from the JP side was over here a little bit ago and left me this note that says, nice building, hentai, Auden. So yeah, that's the vague idea for now. Stable up front, <laughs> bathhouse in the back, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Anyway, we'll take a little look at what I got done today, since we're here. Uh, so, today I added a little bit more on the road here. Nothing wild. I started an actual road toward the bridge. I built this well, which isn't incredible. That's just a little, like, cherry on top for myself at the end of the stream there. And then this is what we did for most of the stream. I ran around a bit. I built a map that I put on my map wall over there. I did a bit of exploring. And then I built this fucking incredible bridge that I have grown to love quite a bit. I was a little skeptical at first, but putting some time into it, putting those little uh, braziers at the top. Ooh, I'm going to put some stairs here. It'll probably be dark oak so it blends in. And then we're going to start our actual path through the canyons and up north toward the um, pastures. Let's take a look at that bridge from the side, shall we? <laughs> yeah, that bridge took a lot of work shopping, though. Look at that bad boy. Ooh. Ooh. When you sail under that, that's going to be so fucking sick. God damn. I love that. Yep. I love that. Anyway. Anyway. Next project, I think, is going to be to build the stable. And then it's going to be to start on the road, which is going to continue from the bridge area. Probably wrap uphill a bit so you're not constantly on the downhill. And then it'll wrap uphill, curve a bit, because I like curving roads on my maps anyway. And straight roads are kind of boring. Probably come up this way, come up here, curve forward and back, and then go straight toward that wood line. Because I think, yeah, that wood line right there is the narrowest entrance toward open field. So I'll probably cut down a few trees to create an open field, like sort of like forest on either side type of vibe. It'll be cool. I just need to make sure my road steers well clear of these big holes. A, so people don't accidentally fall into them. And B, because I feel like if you were building an actual road in a world building sense, you would want to keep it clear of giant chasms. Kind of like this one, actually, which now that I think is very close to where I'm thinking about entering my road. So maybe I'll put it a little more to the left. I think I'm going to turn that into a quarry. And then I can have my logging camp up in these hills. So we could have a quarry and a logging camp pretty close to each other, actually. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Big plans, big plans. Always gotta have big plans. Uh, as far as where I'm planning on putting my bathhouse to answer the question uh, you just asked, Lily Gilly, I'm gonna put it right there after I clear out those stables. I'm gonna get rid of all of my animals over there. Not get rid of, I'm gonna move all of my animals over there. We're gonna go on a mass exodus across this bridge, up along the road once I get the road done. Uh, and I'm gonna build a pasture out here, but the bathhouse cannot be done until I build at least a barn or a stable to put all of my animals in. Maybe not like a barn with a roof, but you know, like a fenced in area and a small house to live in with a bed over here. And then I could do a mass exodus of my farm animals and move them over there. Mm -mm. Maybe one road leads to the chasm for shits and giggles. Maybe, maybe we'll see. No promises. Yep, there's gonna be a farmhouse, yeah. I'm sure someone said this, says Salty, but I love that your jacket has army coat pad stitching. I don't think anybody's ever said that, actually. I think you're the first, Salty. You truly are the Salt King. <laughs> well, there it is. I'm gonna wait till night. At the risk of uh, incurring the wrath of mobs, I just wanna see my bridge at night real quick. So what you're telling me is that Minecraft is forever? I might go on a bit of a Minecraft break here in a bit. Uh, not like a long one necessarily, but I don't want to burn anybody out on Minecraft. And I don't want to burn myself out, but I mean, this has been a really engaging and fun time for me. Maybe not for everybody else, but for me, I've had a lot of fun. Um, so yeah. But I might like take a week or two off Minecraft. We'll see. Maybe longer. I don't know. If whatever the mood strikes me, we'll find out. God damn. Look at that sunset. I got bridge in the dark. Ooh. Damn. That's nice. That's nice. Mm mm mm. Ooh, chill music too. Ah. I should get a screenshot, actually. Uh, oh, that's not it. Is it F1? F1. Okay, hold on. One sec. Mm -hmm. Oh, that doesn't work. Never mind. Uh, I'll figure it out. That's fine. Cool. All right, gamers, that was a lot of fun. Nice, 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 nice. I will probably... Oh, uh, a couple little things real quick to touch on before I close out the stream for the day. Uh, one, tomorrow I'm going to be playing Deep Rock Galactic with the rest of the Armist Boys. It's probably going to be a lot higher energy and a lot more chaotic than the stream, and I'm totally fine with that because I like releasing excess energy through streaming, and not every stream can be uh, I just woke up and played Minecraft. So <laughs> thanks for Minecraft. Thank you, Poppet Theater. For the delicious soup. Um, so yeah, we're going to play Deep Rock Galactic tomorrow. Number two, I will be dropping a book for book club. Or I'll be dropping a maybe a post in memberships on YouTube here shortly to talk about what we want to do for book club uh, for this month. So that I don't break my book club streak. Okay? Okay. Last but not least, I will be posting my schedule tomorrow or the day after. I'm hoping to collab with a few people, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, no promises. So, I think that's it. I think that's all my housekeeping. Is that all my housekeeping? Nelichka. Thanks for being a thanks for being an asshole for two whole months. Thanks for the fun Minecraft stream. Thanks for staying in and hanging out and listening to me ramble about random bullshit and go silent for like 10 minutes at a time while I go into some sort of weird builder's frenzy. Um, I know that's not always easy to sit through, so you know I appreciate when you guys do. Uh, man, that looks really good now. This balcony's starting to really shape up. It's starting to have a reason to be a balcony. Fuck, that's so cool. Um, oh, I do have more housekeeping I was supposed to do. That's right. I, ooh, um, yeah, if you're going to be in Japan during Hollow Expo, you can grab yourself some meet and greet tickets and have one-on-one -on -one time to chatter away with me for a little bit and get yourself a signed uh, Crimson Ruse original grade-A holographic, um, Legally, I'm, I have to tell you, it's not actually holographic, but it is signed by Crimson Roos. Uh, card with the Hollow Stars, uh, JP, and Ian boys on it. 
It will only have my signature on it if you're going to my meet and greet, but it'll have all the other boys' pictures, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, if you happen to be in J Japan around that time, feel free to stop by. Is that it? I think that's it. I think I've said everything I'm supposed to say. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I've been told I don't say this enough and that maybe I'm a little too casual about it. But every time you guys, you know, like the video, comment, subscribe, uh, engage with this in any way that matters, uh, I guess, it uh, helps the algorithm push me up some so that I can get out to a wider audience and then clown assholes that come in here and say, is that an anime avatar? Cringe! And then I can, you know, drag their face across sandpaper until uh, I get down to the bone, which is always great. <laughs> So yeah, I guess uh, <laughs> smash that like button. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Crimson Plier. <laughs> or something like that, you know. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Oh, oh, one more thing. One more thing. I'm not going to be doing more Minecraft tonight. And the reason is I need to go work on my voice pack for this month. I am about halfway through it, but I've got to go do some finishing touches. It is going to be the Azure Riz voice pack. So look forward to that. Uh, Jack Axed here and up. I will have that dropped very soon. I'm hoping within the next day or two. Uh, the wallpaper is ready for that tearing up as well. And I was originally going to skip this for this month, but I think, much like Book Club, I don't want to miss... Oh, and to Detect! Detect, did you just publicly announce that you're actively trying to get that Azure Ruse voice back? Uh-oh. <laughs> you could have waited till after the stream. You could have waited. You could have waited. <laughs> All right, it's going to be awful. I'm warning you. Uh, sorry, that guy's an asshole. I hate Azure Ruse. Uh, last thing, I was going to skip this this month because I don't know. I don't feel like I made a ton of progress, but <sighs> if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to fucking do it. So much like Book Club... I will do my monthly karaoke uh, probably the next week, maybe Sunday. I don't know. I haven't decided yet when it's going to be. So I guess uh, stay posted for that. Yeah, that'll be something. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't woo yet. I haven't, I haven't decided what I'm doing. I if, okay, but if you're gonna, if you want me to do a song. You need to start posting under the karaoke tag. It's on the uh, schedule tweet on uh, my page on Twitter. So feel free to go check that out. Uh, I think it's... Uh, I'm trying to remember what the fucking tag is. It's been a while since I've looked at it. Anyway, go take a look at it. Uh, use the hashtag and feel free to suggest me some songs. I will not have a lot of time to look them over. I will try my best to pick up all new songs because I don't like doing the same set list over and over again. Not because there's anything wrong with that necessarily. I just... Eh, you know, I just... I, I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm not making progress if I'm not expanding my palette, if that makes sense. Kind of like, you know, finding new foods I like. Crimson Tunes, that's the hashtag. So feel free to find songs you want me to sing and hashtag Crimson Tunes, and I will try to look those up and get practicing on singing those. Pop It Theater. I don't know if this is like a masochism or like an exhibitionist thing and you're trying to get me to call you out, but I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Thank you for being a jackass. <laughs> Uh, welcome back, Ed. All right, I think that's it, right? Karaoke reel. Yippee! Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do karaoke next week. Don't don't get, like, super excited. I haven't had a ton of time to practice. Well, you, no, actually, you know, no, no. I'm not going to dissuade this shit. I'm not going to downplay it. I'm not going to shit on myself. I'm not going to do this thing where I try to lower expectations so that it sounds better. Fuck it. You know what? I'm going to be as good as I've ever been. I'm going to do better than I've ever done. I'm going to do uh, the best you've ever heard, okay? Okay, so get excited for that. Let me go find somebody to raid. Here I go. I'm going to raid... Uh, um, mm, uh, I raided Gerard the other day. I'm going to raid... Wait, no, I raided Shinri Senpai the other day. Who the fuck is still awake besides Gerard and Shinri? Mm -hmm. Oh, you better save your Twitch points for more redeems. You're lucky. Just this once. Yeah, thanks for being here, gamers. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go over to... Let's do Gerard this time. Did I do Gerard last night? Who did I do yesterday? Who did I raid yesterday? Oh, thanks, Azure Ruse's E. Uh, uh, thank you, Azure Ruse's E, kitten, for a month. Huh. Raid? Gamma in an hour. 
Puma and Robert are streaming. Robert is streaming right now. I don't think I have perms for Robert right now. Oh, I do have perms for Fuma, though. Oh, we'll raid Fuma Ch Chan. Wow. Fuma San. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry, Fuma and I aren't that close yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sorry about that. Fuma San. Uh, whew. That was rough for a second. <laughs> We're going to raid Fuma San. Uh, and I think that Fuma San is playing, I want to say Splatoon, maybe. The thumbnail says Splatoon to me, but I've never actually played Splatoon, so I'm not sure. But I'm going to guess that's what it is. Let's go, gamers. Stick around. Say hi. Uh, Fuma San. San, not Chan. Has an incredible voice and is a lot of fun and is a very entertaining streamer. So we are going to go pop by there. If you haven't seen any Splatoon gameplay, maybe you can stick around and see if it's a game for you. If you haven't hung around and seen any of Fuma San's content yet, good news. Now's your chance. Let's go, baby. See you in hell. No, not Chan. No, no. Bad, bad. Crusaders! <laughs>